Because men are good to put things in compartments, but that's only because you put things in compartments, right? Putting things in compartments doesn't mean that it's safe. It's doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that the screws not gonna, doesn't mean it's not gonna pop up. They might pop up again. Well, well, I decide. At the end of the day, mm. I a wise, decide. A wise man once told me, "Man plan, God laughs." <laughs> right? We plan, God Ooh, laughs. What a right? lie! So, so he we can laugh all he wants. I'm still <laughs> planning. At the end of the day, <laughs> like I'm. He- All right. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> we have two guests tonight. Whatever, Nadia. And uh, yeah, of course, you decided to sit on my place just because you felt like you were different on this chair. That's I, I wasn't different. I was uncomfortable. Of course. Why? Explain. Parce que je, j'ai pris du poids. Fait que... Le divan creuse par en arrière, ce qui fait que je me sentais pognée comme ça. Puis j'étais comme, je peux-tu m'asseoir sur une chaise ou est-ce que je vais être comme, comme ça? C'est tout. Fair. Fair enough. Yeah, Fair. yeah. Amazing explanation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll let you introduce your... Well, he's a big guy. He can introduce himself. We have Emerson, old friend, trainer, fighter. <laughs> used to be an athlete. <laughs> used to be an athlete. <laughs> used to be You're yeah. done. <laughs> Definitely not the same. Getting old now. Definitely not the same. I'll let you introduce yourself. What you do? Where? Where Emerson, you are right now? Um, name is Emerson, as you guys, most of you know. And for the audience, Emerson Turnier. I'm a trainer, uh, full time. So what I do, um, I also work with a foundation. We raise money for sick children, the children's in the hospital. Et oui, I'm getting back into the ring. So je redeviens un athlète <laughs> as a boxer. Donc oh. cette année, je m'entraîne pour ça, pour revenir sur le ring as a boxer. So ça va être vraiment cool. So j'aime, j'aime tout How le, le journey en ce moment-là. Je, si je réapprends à devenir un athlète, en fait, so c'est vraiment, vraiment cool. How old are you now? 35. Oh, you're super young. <laughs> super <laughs> what? Super, super fucking young. old? If he's old, I'm expired. 35. <laughs> What the hell does that mean? Same age. Exactly. Wait, he We're was your coach old. and he's younger yeah, than right. you? Well, not coach. He had a, a, a training facility. So he oh. was a coach at the training facility. That's what, when you said coach, I automatically yeah, yeah, assumed I know, he was no, older no, than no. you. No, no. Oh, okay. It's I'm older than him. It's not a life coach. It's a physical, you know. There's mm-hmm. a bit of life coaching in what I do, though. The, the, what? Fait de temps en temps, il y a des clients que... Il faut leur donner deux, trois claques pour hey, leur rappeler qu'il a l'air de pleurer. Là. <rire> que tu sois trainer, coiffeuse, un moment donné, tu deviens thérapeute. Oh non, c'est clair. Sans le vouloir. C'est clair. Bartender aussi. Oh yeah. I gotta up up the prices. C'est ridicule pour de vrai. Podcast tout. <rire> <rire> oh, podcasting is another ball game, man. But oh yeah, OK, this is interesting. So you're a lot into the health sphere. Mm-hmm. Yep. Always been? Uh, yes, listen, I've been doing this for about 13 years now. I would say 10 years full-time, 10 years full-time, almost 10 years full-time. In 2016 is when I started making a living off of training people. So this is your full-time job? Yeah. Okay. I do full-time, yeah. Nice. So, mais écoute, j'ai rencontré les bonnes personnes aussi along the way, right? Parce que j'aurais pu faire du énergie cardio, du Nautilus, you know, puis faire 15 piastres de l'heure, ou j'ai rencontré les bonnes personnes qui m'ont appris à comment transformer ça en business, dans le fond. Okay. Right? And uh, tap sur du bois, j'ai pas en plein. C'est sûr que je vis l'économie comme presque tout le monde. Je dis bien presque tout le monde, mais <laughs> j'ai pas en plein. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, then, Nadia, you have uh, a trainer right here. I know, mais... You have no Quand excuses. Quand c'est ton ami depuis euh, le primaire, c'est différent qu'un inconnu. Why? Ben... You could curse him out? No, I'm confused. No, mais tu He can actually push you harder because he knows you. Or I could be like, motherfucker, you ain't tell me what to do. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, but you do that regardless with whoever you're with. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, je sais pas. En même temps, c'est ça l'affaire. Je le connais, ça fait tellement longtemps. He's making a living out of this. I'm not going to be like, hey, you want to train me for free? Like, Why for free? But why for free? First If you're going to pay I'm somebody broke. else. I, I can't pay like a personal trader. I'm going to go to fucking, uh, comment t'appelles ça? Econo plus whatever. <laughs> <Ask> <laughs> everybody. <laughs> <laughs> This podcast is sponsored by Nautilus. <laughs> <laughs> People are just dropping company names here. <laughs> no, Sam, I'm you're just up. saying. <laughs> Sam, you're, we're giving them free ad. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't have money for that. So yeah. Okay, so it's just money? And motivation, definitely. Bing. I'd be slimmer if there was more motivation. Mm-hmm. Motivation and food. Food is a big problem. 
So how do you motivate your people? I just remind them of the reasons why they do what they do. C'est les gens qui rentrent souvent, c'est c'est les gens, les gens qui prennent la décision. You. Quand ils sont rendus à un point qu'ils prennent la décision, parce que rendu ce que ce que je fais, I don't have to motivate people anymore. Tape sur du bois, la business vient vers moi. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mon travail, c'est de les garder. Right? Mm. It's retention work. Mm -hmm. Right? Et c'est de les rappeler pourquoi ils sont venus en premier lieu. And I can give you a few examples. Mais je peux donner un exemple. Il y en a un qui est devenu mon ami. Ce gars-là, ça fait 10 ans. Cette année, ça fait 10 ans que je l'entraîne. Sa fille avait un an. Sa fille a 11 ans maintenant. Et quand il est venu me voir, he was like, you know, his back was hunched. Um, he was coughing all the time. Et il me disait, écoute, je suis pas en forme. I want to get in shape for my daughter. I want to be, I want to feel fit. I can't run. I, I can't run after her right now. When I go up the stairs, I'm out of breath. So je lui dis, regarde, on a du travail à faire. And here's how we're going to do it. Right? J'ai fait, j'ai besoin que tu te rappelles. À chaque fois que tu as envie de quit, je veux que tu te rappelles la raison pour laquelle tu fais ce que tu fais. À chaque fois que tu penses que c'est too much work, remind, remember why you walked in here. Que c'est même pas pour toi que tu es rentré ici, en fait. Mm -hmm. Tu es rentré pour ta fille. Tu es rentré pour quelqu'un que... que ce que tu dis, c'est tellement important parce que les gens, along the way, c'est difficile, ils arrivent ci, ils arrivent mm -hmm. ça, puis ils perdent la raison pourquoi ils ont commencé. Of course. À cause de tout ce qui vient dans la route, genre. Parce que c'est plus facile de perdre. Tu sais, exemple, la première semaine, ce gars-là, tout de suite, il a overshot. Il m'a dit, OK, cette semaine, je vais venir, euh, je vais venir quatre jours. Mm. Je te regarde. <rire> Baby <rire> steps. <rire> Let's have one or two. Uh, I'm like, you know. Puis, à l'époque, j'avais besoin du cash en passant. C'est pas mm -hmm. comme si j'aurais pu dire oui, mais je savais que I was going to set him for failure. I was going to set him up for failure. Okay. Right? So, je lui dit, tu sais quoi, commence deux fois. Commence deux fois à voir. Deux séances. La première séance, le gars fait 15 minutes. Il vomit. Deuxième ah! séance, il fait 20 minutes. Vomit. Après 15 minutes? Oh, ouais. Puis, je pars comme warm-up, tranquille, là, pas un truc de fou. Là, OK? So... OK, mais il n'a jamais été fait de sa vie. Hein. Pas vraiment. C'est un gars qui a fait de l'activité physique, sauf que as he got older, he was smoking, you know, drinking. So c'est comme ton corps devient lazy. C'est pas juste ça. Puis t'es affecté par le, le surplus d'inflammation à travers les années of just eating yeah. the wrong stuff and not taking care of yourself, right? So the first week, je me rappelle, je me suis dit ce gars-là va pas revenir parce que la deuxième séance, il m'a même pas dit bye. Il est parti. Il a pris ses affaires puis il a dip. Okay. I'm help you, but I have anger issues now. Ses affaires puis il a dip. Why did I? Like, why did I come shit, here? Ce gars-là va pas revenir. Deuxième semaine, il revient puis il a comme un nouveau. He has like guidelines for me. Il fait c'est quoi? Last week he made me do this. Maybe that's what made me feel weird. Peut-être que je suis pas prêt pour ça. Then I'm like no stress. I almost died basically. Ça, <laughs> ça, On va commencer avec ça à la place. Problème de flexibilité la deuxième semaine, il n'arrive pas à bouger. Il fait, je ne comprends pas, c'est n'importe quoi. Whatever I do, I have a hard time, right? Two months later, he was moved in to, he was moved out three times a week. Six months later, le gars, il courait. A year later, he was running, boxing, lifting, jumping. Sauf que moi, every single time, je disais, comment va ta fille, t'as l'affaire, non, non, non. Puis il joue un peu dans sa tête, on est des gars aussi. Est, I'm like, you know, like, she's there, I can tell she's going to be cute. Like, you're gonna have a problem. <laughs> if you can't run, <laughs> if you're not in shape, like, you have a problem. Even if you buy a gun, can you hold that gun properly? <laughs> like, 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 bro. Like, like, <laughs> my shoulder. <laughs> tu sais, mais à la rigolade, c'est devenu quelque chose qui est resté. Et puis de là, ça s'est formé aussi une amitié. C'est une personne qui aussi, he likes to be close to the people that he works with. Tu sais? So, on, a, on, a, on est sortis ensemble une couple de fois, mangé, j'ai rencontré sa famille, and then it just became a thing. Mm -hmm. et, mais c'est quelque chose que j'ai aussi continué de faire avec tout le monde. Like they do with everybody. Yeah. 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 Non, 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 mais je parle en, dans le sens que de les rappeler constamment, like, why they're there, right? Yeah. C'est pas juste du yeah, allo bye bye. Right? It's motivation. Pas juste allo bye bye. Puis tu sais, j'ai des gens que, yes, I haven't done this for everyone. Tu sais, il y a des gens que, il y a des gens, tu sais, ça va demander plus de travail puis plus d'énergie. Et des gens, qu'est-ce que je fais? Trainers, what we do is a lot of work, right? Une Nadia serait peut-être beaucoup de travail. La fois que tu venais pour les cours de groupe, ça, uh, I don't know, right? On one-on-one, -on -one, comment ça serait, là, right? Mais, Mais ouais. Tu es venu deux, trois fois, là. C'est ça. Tu as pris, euh, tu avais une, une chante de Ta carrière en fitness, c'était vraiment petite, là. Non, mais attends, dans ça, j'avais pas besoin d'une carrière en fitness. J'étais <rire> bon, là. On a tous ouais. besoin d'une carrière en fitness. Non. It's not because you, you have don't it, you have it. No, but it physically, yes, but it doesn't mean you're then healthy. Then you grow older, then you need it. So, so let's get back to the to the juicy. So I heard, first and foremost, you wanted to come today and talk about ghosting. So I'm wondering. Because it's a thing that I hear a lot, right? It's a thing that I hear a lot, and whether it's a guy or a girl, which is very interesting, right? Uh -huh. Because... I have to give you an example because it's always... Can we define ghosting, ghosting right? first? Yes, Is it okay, like you're okay, actually good. going to yeah. a place? So wait, I want this very clear. Bring the mic closer to you first. <laughs> right, you and, okay, because how long have you been in a relationship right now? 
Um, uh, it's complicated. Six months now, I'd say. Ah, so it's yeah. new. Well, okay, so you're. It's not mm-hmm. been 20 years. Now. No, but I mean, he dated <laughs> in, in his life. He had no, no, but <laughs> meaning, meaning, I've learned the term ghosting after I was single. Yeah, but that was. It's like a new term. 30 years oh, ago. For me. No, it's been <laughs> eight <laughs> years, nine years soon. <laughs> it's been a while. I celebrate my singleness. I know, yeah. very often. <laughs> Tequila <Wow>. bang bang. <laughs> But okay, so define me ghosting first. Let's go with that. So ghosting, selon les victimes de ghosting. Selon les témoignages. C'est exemple, you go on a date or a couple of dates, ça va bien. Des fois, ça va plus loin, on bang, what's up. Yeah. Sauf que dès que la personne a eu ce qu'elle voulait, puis je dis la personne, I'll explain why later, I'm saying la personne. Yeah. Okay? Um, I'll explain later why c'est la personne. Go ahead. Then they stop answering messages. They stop answering texts. Come, they réponse, disappear. Right? They basically. disappear. No, but I, I want to say it's not only like uh, you've been on dates and whatever. If you talk to someone, it's been like a week or two. Even if you haven't seen the person and then the person disappears, it's still ghosting. Right. So they say, arrêtez les habitudes dans le fond, voilà. right? So whatever happens. Would you she, consider that uh, ghosting? Yeah, but his definition of getting what you want has nothing to do with ghosting. Ghosting is basically you have Just a, a, a contact. When you started a momentum yes. and then cutting it. But yeah. she's right. You're right. Without, without saying anything, you That's disappear. Yeah, yeah. This, This is a ghost. Like cold turkey. It, nothing necessarily has to happen. Exactly. Because yes. yeah. Yeah. a lot of people ghost after like a couple of texts. We're supposed to go out. And, and then, then yeah, poof. Before, before I've been, I I'm the king you. of being ghosted. So really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Serious? I collect them. Yeah, like Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> How so? How come? The, the, my favorite ghosting story that I had. I even made a podcast about it. It was called Kept On Scene. So what happened was this girl approached me. She put some fucking flame emojis on my vacation. We start talking here and there. I have a public account. Cool. We start talking back and forth. She seemed really fun. We talked back and forth for about a month because first week I was on vacation. Second week I had my kids. Third week she was in Miami. Fourth week, I had my kids, and we were supposed to meet up right around that time. So we're talking back and forth. We actually had a date, specific date. I was going to come through, walk, and, you know, maybe grab uh, some ice cream. I was during summer. And she's like, yeah, I'm super down, whatever. She went on the weekend somewhere. And as she was on the vacation, I comment on her story. Oh, it looks like fun. I'll be seeing you in two days. She's like, yeah, this is going to be fun, blah, 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 blah. The day prior... I like to send a text just to confirm, you know, we do not forget. She saw it and left it at that. And this is a girl that kept me on fire. So she basically met someone on vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She went back with her ex. I found out afterwards. Oh, okay. Mm. But I found out from somebody else. Yeah, of course. But say still, tell me. No, but that's what I'm saying. No, but that's you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Like, tell me. <laughs> no, because I'm like, what happened to you? You died, woke up in a bed, and you opened your phone. You're like, I don't know this no, conversation. You were What's going worse. on? <laughs> you were worse, had no responsibility, took no responsibility, and just ghosted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but because people don't like confrontation. That's no, the, this. No, no, this is not even confrontation. Like, if you tell someone, you know what? Not into it. Whatever, yeah, but that's, whatever the reason that's is, very that, hard for people. That's call, considered as a confrontation. No, it's not. Confrontation. You telling somebody I'm not interested is not a confrontation. No, it's just a fact. <laughs> no, I seriously. agree though. It's not a confrontation. It's, 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 it's you're, you're literally just having a discussion with someone, just explaining to them the reason. Let's why just say it's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's an uncomfortable it conversation. Is uncomfortable. Exactly. Okay, fair enough. Conversation. Yeah. Conversation yeah, yeah. Have. I agree. That is uncomfortable for sure. But as comp. Passe notre vie à éviter de parler des vrais shit me, parce qu'on est inconfortable. Me, But I love seeing people, them afterwards. Some people, like, yeah, actually. Me, I love seeing them afterwards because Montreal is a very small city. Mm-hmm. So eventually, I'll catch you hey. on a terrasse, on a bar, <laughs> or at a restaurant. And I always do the same move. I send shots. <laughs> And oh, like, wow. <laughs> Shut up. Of course. I love it. Yo, I just, real. I, 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 like consi- that. I consider myself like a Ghostbusters at this point. <laughs> you know, hey, I caught you, bitch. <laughs> I told me like you're going to approach her. It doesn't matter if she's with, even she's with the guy. Yeah, hell's the fuck. Yeah. Whatever. C'est quoi doesn't concern me. No. She has to have that conversation with him afterwards. You're sending shots. Like, who doesn't want them? You don't want them? Don't drink them. No, like. I wouldn't want them. If I would be with a girl. Are you crazy? I put and a guy the- sends shots towards us, and I asked the girl, what's the story behind oh, this? Oh, it's a guy I ghosted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that pretty much it. Yeah. 
pretty much it. But I really thought that would be the story. Well, I mean, I've, 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 These were general. Yeah, but you got the worst guy next to you. <laughs> you'll, you'll throw them under the bus. <laughs> no. Who goes more for you? Who, who, so Please, watch please. out how you're going to enter that. Hence why before Millennium. I said Lapa Yeah, Sun, I know. No, right? but you're just politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a raw podcast. <laughs> so, Did you see me, Sugar Millenniums. Okay. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so okay. So you're blaming the millennials. Okay, fair enough. Honestly, I don't have female like, millennials statistic. or male female. Uh, millennials. No, have you been ghosted? She... Hell no! Shut up! What? Hey, shut up! <laughs> don't even think about it. I and fuck, you have to me... think no, about you see, it. You have to think about it. But let me show you another example. Have you been ghosted? Nope. No, really? Not that I know. Whoa, wait! <laughs> don't start with that. Really, that I don't know. Wait, This guy wait, doesn't wait. have no feelings. All right, <laughs> 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 he what? claims his women. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to know more about that, though. Uh, listen to the pod. Because last time you said that, and I was like, what's wrong Listen to wrong the pod, and this okay. guy's in a happy relationship. But anyway, have you been ghosted? <laughs> yes, I've been ghosted. Have you ghosted? Yeah, I've, no. Okay, have you ghosted? No. I've never ghosted. Have you ghosted? No. Really? I have, oh. co I have cojones. Like, no, I will tell you straight. Like, literally. Yeah? Yeah. What's the worst line you gave a guy? <gasps> it's not you, it's me. <laughs> That's not the worst. No. That's uh, George Costanza's line. Oh Please God. take your time. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so many. And listen, before you become top three, top a top no, four. before you become a professional, it's like you just go, you just learn. You just learn. How is the worst way you let go of somebody? That was a very simple question. This girl's talking to me about But levels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expert mode now. Oh, I actually ghosted someone. Yeah. But it was like a harassment situation. How was so, it harassment? Like ballistic harassment. Like, He was texting you a lot. I will just calling, texting, being crazy. And it's just, you know what? I'm just not going to answer ever again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you didn't tell him, yo, just leave me alone. Fair. Oh, so I did, but when it continues, context, then yeah, yeah. you're like, But that's not ghosting, that. though. That's, that's not it. ghosting. It's not really ghosting. It's particular context. Yeah, it makes yeah but that's not ghosting. Like you have to do what you have to do. Like, no, that's it. No, you told him okay. it's over, uh -huh. and he kept on persisting. It's not yeah. ghosting. Okay. That's so just no. blocking. So no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But A ghosting is... A lot of blocking, is, but no ghosting. Ghosting is when you literally think that everything is going well, and then all of a sudden... It is so fucked up. Like, people need to grow fucking cojones. Like, I'll say that. Like, you have the right to not like someone. You have the right to But they whatever. Won't. But the one, you just got to understand that life is not fair. And you're still going to have all these situations. And you learn to live with those situations. Yeah, but why? Why? Because life, it's not fair. Everybody has a mouth. Everybody has a fucking brain. And you know what? People don't take responsibility. And they mm -hmm. don't care about hurting. Imagine. You yeah. don't know the person. Yep. Imagine that you're uh, the first person who someone's interested in in a long time mm -hmm. and they get an, a, a, a sort of attention mm -hmm. that they didn't get for a long time. Mm -hmm. But that's a you problem. I know. But then have a bit of like em empathy mm -hmm. or like something. Why? Because like we're all humans. Would you like to get your feeling hurts? We get our feeling hurt every single two is weeks. Is that a reason to hurt people's feeling with, with Yeah, her point is good, though. You don't want to voluntarily hurt people. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Okay. Because what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is you're making a, like, you want the other person to feel a certain type of way. No. No, I want... Empathy. The, no, I'm, what I'm saying is at least have a bit of, like, Consider the other person. Yeah, yeah. considered yeah. the other person as a human being. Every human being has feeling except psychopaths. Because it's closure. Story. You're giving sure. them closure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would do it, but I also, I don't expect everybody to do it with me. So Why for not? me, it's just like, oh. You should. So what, you expect them to do what? To just disappear and block you? No, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's so do it. you look after them? Because me, I worry for people. No, no. If somebody, if I talk to regularly. Because the just... only situation that I remember, like, I'm Charlie, that's what I was like, I'm not sure. If it's ghosting, if I was talking to this girl and it was cool, whatever. And one day she asked me, what is, what is one of your pet peeves? Like the, the no-go zone, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm like, 
cigarette. I can't stand the girl that smokes. She's like, oh, I smoke. And I'm like, eh? We were talking within like, like a week or two or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she's like, okay, anyway, I have another call. She's like, I, I'll call you back. And she never called back. So is it ghosting? Yeah, but did you text her back? Yeah. So she ghosted you. Exactly. That's because what she I'm texted like. back and she never responded. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But maybe in that situation for her, it was more clear, like the reason How? why. Because you just said it's a no-go. Yeah, but she could stop smoking. He could get used to smoking again. Clearly, she didn't want to stop smoking. <laughs> no, but I get that part. But, she was like, fuck your story. But we live, in, we, we live in a civilized world here. I don't understand really where not. you can't have this conversation. So I, I think everything comes down to understanding a little further. Yes, I know those things happen in life, like you mentioned. But the reality is... To me, I look at life as two things, a series of dice roll and a chess match. You constantly have to think ahead, right? Mm -hmm. So I put put it from that perspective. If I'm talking to somebody and usually somebody that gets ghosted on is someone that cares, right? So if you cared means you've displayed that while talking to that person or whatever it is or dating, whatever it is, right? Then you get ghosted. For me, someone who ghosts in this kind of context is a liability. That person is a fucking liability. That's what I, don't I think. think that's true for yes, all situations. because I'm like, if you're just gonna run away at some shit because you don't have the balls to face someone to tell them that this is not gonna work anymore, what other parts of your life do you fucking ghost? You know? Oh I no, look, that's for I sure. I look at it this way, right? That's I look for at sure. It as if I'm thinking ahead, guess what? That is someone that knowing that would I work with that person? Probably not. Because la journée ça marche pas pour cette personne. If I just pick up and go, I'm not gonna go. Oh yeah, they're doing you a favor. Don't get me wrong. Like at the end of the day, the moral is there. But the fact that you being ghosted, you said it's somebody that cares. No, I'm just a respectful person. I don't think that's true. Yeah, me neither. Let's say like in Tinder's or whatever um, apps or whatever, you could talk to someone, you get along, da da da, and then the person disappears. They ghost you. That doesn't mean you were caring or whatever. No, it's just like, oh, but okay, I don't even, they didn't say bye. They didn't say, I don't you know even, what? Yeah, that's I don't, it. I'm really more that. But whatever. I don't even consider talking on apps and no longer talking to that person being a ghost thing. See, I've never been on dating apps, right? So, you more, never. Whoa, let's talk about that. <laughs> How do you meet girls? Well, you know, the gym, going out. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Right? He dates so his events, clients. You know? <laughs> Just so, putting the tagline. No. no. I train no, you but it's inside true. out. No. Yeah, but it's true. If you work in a field no. where you just meet people constantly, you don't leave. The dating apps, that's but it. that's really rare. But maybe if you have the gym, you have girl, like. No, but even if you haven't been on dating apps, you can meet somebody in a restaurant or whatever. Start talking to her. Text when, when. Yes, but what when? I'm getting Seriously. at the, the point that when? I'm getting at is that dating app. I look at dating app as a mass consumption tool, right? Mm-hmm. Like everyone is part of the same hypocrisy. So if I'm only talking to you through mm. that app. Puis on s'est pas vu et rien du tout. Tu sais que j'ai peut-être 10 autres sur ma yeah. liste. Je sais que t'as peut-être 10 autres sur ta liste. So si je te réponds plus, là, it's not really ghost. C'est littéralement no, le step, it the pre, the free step yeah. one of wait, entrevue. I, I, agree, I agree with you to a certain extent. But now wait one second. I've been on dating apps. And you have to understand, there is still the context of the conversation. Because if I'm talking to you and we're trying to fix a date because of our schedules, whatever might be the reason... And we're talking back and forth and there we're showing interest. Regardless if I know you have 10 people in the back burner or maybe I'm number three on your list, whatever it is, I am aware of that. But I still deserve honesty. If yeah. you met somebody, mm, yeah. if you told me, listen, uh, uh, I was going to see you, but I had a really good date yesterday and I'm going to give it a fair chance. Oh I'm gonna be like, God, never do that. that. I, would, I said that before. That's it. I said that before, but no, but it's true. We're, we're not going to start lying. What, you think I'm the only match for you and you're for me? Come on Yeah, now. but this is where it gets weird because if we think of like society, the way like women and men dating couples and whatever is meant to go or traditionally the making of, les sites de rencontre, ça l'a bouleversé ça. Mm-hmm. La façon traditionnelle de rencontrer quelqu'un, d'être mm. quelqu'un, si on regarde, admettons, dans le passé, des années 50 à maintenant. Là. But wait, wait, now you're doing a big mistake. Les années 50, <coughs> les gens se mariaient pas par amour, ils se mariaient par intérêt. I know. So, now but, changing... but our way of dating or seeing marriage and everything comes from that. There's a, like a line. It was our parents that hooked us up. Or we would hook up with our neighborhood. Hey, Again. we're not all our parents. No, 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 but no, you got to understand, back then you were living in a in a place yeah. where you had the, your options to marry with like three, four girls in your 
area and that's no, and it. it was very religious and it yeah, was yeah. like you have your church to, or your you mosque or your babies. high school or you whatever that's of what was your course. community but we still come from that and that shaped whatever no, it is right but, now but it the, did but wait the reason why it was so reported way back when because there was the reputation of the family of mm-hmm. you can't go fuck around the whole fucking neighborhood then you know they're gonna come and talk to your family they're gonna come and talk to you mm-hmm. and you build a reputation if you take the 90s and 2000s when the club scene in Montreal was booming Mm. Sorry, but it was like dating apps. But instead of having 20 people on your couch at home. It wasn't dating apps. You know what? Because you could smell the person, see the person, like the person. Yeah, but I could meet her today, Friday, at Jet Club. Then Saturday, go out to Copacabana. Orchid. 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 That that still exists. Yeah, but I'm talking 90s, 2000s. And then I found one better. I'm not going to call back the other girl or fake numbers. That's yes. literally the original ghosting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right? True. Right? True. So again, it's it's been there. The only yeah. thing is girls that didn't like to actually have that awkward conversation will give you a fake name. They just or finished looking. fake number. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said we all had cell phones. Did we at that time? No. 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 Cell phones came out early 2000. 2005. Oh, 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 oh. Or prepaid or prepaid cell phones. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We started going out. We had prepaid cell well, phones. Well, we're you not know, the it? same generation. You're, you, you guys, guys are, are like older. Than older. Than I'm a lot older than, than you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm you in guys your guys like, like, generation. 45. You guys are like almost dying. I'm Okay. I'm 39. I'm I've seen the progress when I used to give my MSN and ICQ. MSN. MSN Messenger and stuff like that. Wow. MSN. So again, and there was ghosting there too. Mm-hmm. People, you would write to them, you would see them online, they would just <laughs> like, Honestly, I, I, think, here. <laughs> I think my first experience with ghosting was something like that, right? Online, offline? <laughs> I see this girl, oh it was really God, bad. I see funny. this girl at uh, the water slide. So they take a uh, piscine à vague. Yeah. So I bet you failed to die. So you had to go to the YMCA. Of course. So, so uh, do you swim? I learned to swim recently in 2016. You didn't have the black... You learned how to swim. In 2016. See, Guy? You learn how to swim? I, will want, I have the technique. I didn't have the. No, the I, technique of drowning. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> he calls himself the black submarine. Come on. <laughs> you know how I learned to swim? Let me know. Honey. Four or five years old in Africa, they put you in the pool yeah. and it's like, swim. Do like that. You're like. So I want to I want to hear this piece in a vague story how he got <laughs> ghosted in water. So, well, come on, say I'll do my show off, right? Of course. <laughs> at the time, I had just gotten uh, my brown belt in karate. I was showing off at the piscina bags. I was throwing kicks in the air. Puis à un moment donné, j'ai envoyé un coup de pied en sautant dans la piscine à vagues. Mais sans réaliser que, à part le fait que je n'ai pas nagé, la piscine à vagues, que, que, où est-ce que je suis sauté? C'est dans Parenthèse. le huit pieds avec les, gros, les grosses vagues qui prennent. Pour de vrai, j'ai bu de l'eau pendant une minute facile. Okay? <laughs> Et c'est Rania qui est venue me sauver. Okay? So, we're, I'm in the water. Mes amis sont comme... Tout Shout out à Rania. Le... Elle est là aujourd'hui. <laughs> Sérieux. Les the original que... ghetto play watch. <laughs> <laughs> c'est littéralement ça. Les gars pensent que je niaisais. So, pendant au moins une minute, tout le monde Ah, il revient, il niaise. Ah, il niaise. Yes. <rire> Jusqu'à ce que quelqu'un. Je pense qu'il niaise pas, le monde de vrai. Rien je suis dans l'eau. Sur so, la fille, avant que le show, on parlait, parlait, je voulais l'impressionner. Tu sais, quand je reviens, tu sais, tu peux it's voir done. que. Like, there's comme, no tu peux voir ce qu'elle donne. Be a <rire> tu peux voir ce qu'elle donne. <rire> Mais la fille, elle voulait être nice. <rire> That gotta be a turn off. <rire> like, I'm trying to visualize it, but it's not looking good. <rire> Sérieux, major turn off, OK? On I don't blame her. No, but you know what? At that time, maybe not. Maybe she went, oh, poor Mais guy. Mais en fait, that's what I believe, Wait, right? Wait, what, what, what was your nationality? I think she was Jewish. That's, that's I that's believe that. she was Jewish. Est-ce que ça la voir avec quelque chose? No, 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 right? I think, I think she, she, yeah, it was a turn off because she was dating you just to piss off her parents to start with. <laughs> oh, And then, it could have been a possibility. You, you didn't look gangster doing this, no? It could have been a possibility. It's like, like, no, no, this is sad. This ain't working. This guy is a black, black bear, but he can swim. He's an Oreo. It doesn't count. He's white on the inside. Oh, my God. He just called you an Oreo. I know he called me an Oreo. No, I said in that swimming scene. That's what he is today. Now he can swim. Now he can do those kicks. And Oh, no more Oreo. It's just like, Jesse, what? Oh, I had to learn how to swim quick. In 2016, I had to, I had to learn how to swim. But before we get there, the she comes back. She comes to me. Everybody's around me. Meanwhile, yeah. Uh, Michel Metellus. Ah, <laughs> Michel, he's laughing at me and he's like, Really, Emerson? Really? Really, Emerson? <laughs> oh, this is not bad. La piscine à vague. I'm like, Yo, je vais pas y mourir. Like, help me out, you know? <laughs> La fille, elle vient and she's trying to be like, okay, Oh, we nice. want a she name. Goes, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay. No, no names. No names. Yeah. No, names. no, I'm not, I, I'm not gonna no give names. you her name. No names. And trust me, like, it's on dimanche. It means a book on dimanche. You're still in contact she, with her? No, so here's what it is. So I'm done. So Maybe I'm, she could see this. 
Il donne son... Oh non. son He son has MSN. a I can swim. <laughs> I can swim. <laughs> Elle me donne son MSN. Puis moi, je suis super excited. Là. I'm like, shit, this is so nice. Puis tout ça, tu sais. Sauf que la fille, OK. Did you ask for it or she gave it to you freely? No. So I, I before about? before the His drowning contact. before the drowning episode, <laughs> yeah. I was talking about keeping contact, right? Yes. Then I was oh, killed myself. So she was like <laughs> recalculating, I was myself, right? <laughs> oh God! Oh, because you didn't get her contact before. No. Yeah, yeah. That that's like a you need to check on your list not to do again. I know. <laughs> I know. I should have gotten the contact before and, uh, before and looking like a clown. <laughs> this that. is the equivalent of like you know meeting a girl in the club and then getting punched. Then like oh can I get your contact? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. So, la fille me donne un, un MSN bootleg, mais je peux pas savoir. Soit elle enlève genre une lettre dans son nom. <laughs> right. C'est pour ça que ça me dévangeait de dire son nom. Soit elle enlève une lettre de son nom. So, I get home, puis j'essaie de fire up le MSN. Y'a rien qui marche, rien qui fonctionne. Mais j'essaie ça pendant des semaines, guys. Like for weeks. I'm sad. It says contact does fuck, not exist, period. Pas, mais je sais. You were trying to hack the system. I'm trying other combinations because I'm like, est-ce qu'elle a fait une erreur? Est-ce qu'elle a fait une erreur? Wait, wait, wait. That's sad. Double wait, what was your plan? Let's just say you found the combination. You're like, so, oh, you did make a mistake, but luckily for me, I found it. So <laughs> I did. Oh. I ended up finding a combination. Okay, I ended up finding a combination. Et je, finalement, je le mets, puis il y a le ad qui apparaît. Et elle, elle obviously, mais elle, elle se rappelle parce que j'avais un nom fucked up. Je suis comme Dr. Brown Sugar. Je pense que j'étais à l'époque. Dr. Brown Another reason to ghost them right there. <laughs> so I répond un hey avec un... un Uh, uh, question, question, question mark. Question mark. Hey, I'm like, hey, uh, it's Emerson from, you know, the I guy from, drowning um, in the. Mais c'est tellement. J'essaie de faire la blague. J'ai fait. Remember the guy who almost died in the wave pool, uh, oh, wow. glissado. Pour de vrai, tout ce que j'ai vu. Ça rappelle à l'époque, on voit comme un peu comme she's writing. Ouais, yeah. Yeah. She's writing. Ça a duré, je pense, 30 secondes. Après, elle a juste rien écrit, puis j'étais bloc, puis tout ça. Genre. <laughs> 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 and that was the original ghost. <laughs> pour de vrai, my heart shattered. Everything shattered. You were overly invested. But wait, that girl, you've seen her after. So we. Okay. So fast forward years This is later. what I want to hear. Yeah, exactly. Fast forward years later, uh -huh. je la vois sur Facebook. Ça pop up on suggested friends. On Facebook. Facebook. The, oh, way they, oh. the, the way they do this. Mais ce que je te dis, c'est comme cinq ans plus tard. Like, And you added her. Tard, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> She's more older now. Yeah, I feel I'm no, she's, she's, she's gonna that. be blocked hey, by hey, generations. Hey, <laughs> she's an adult no. now. But I can understand why. No, I would never. No, because you have to It's do it and pride. then leave. You're like, for that, it. she goes to me. You know, it's the principle. And you give her the power to block her. No, so, you're so, so, yeah, gonna yeah, bang yeah, her yeah. and then leave. So wait, wait, wait. So you added her and then what? So she accepted. Did she accept? Yeah, she accepted. Elle a accepté et m'a réécrit comme si de rien n'était, genre. <laughs> oh my God, it's been so long. Oh, maybe you changed dude, physically. You're looking better. How are you? Bah, en fait... C'est ouais, combien d'années après? What it was, en fait, c'est six ans plus tard. Parce qu'en en fait, c'est six ans parce que je venais de commencer en training. Ah! Et, puis il y avait deux, trois photos sur Facebook. <laughs> puis tout ça, le truc, right? Thirst trap! So she got all excited. Original! Claire! Original thirst trap! Comment ça? It's a six-pack of a thirst trap. Look at the waves, bitch! <laughs> Look at the waves! <laughs> I'm not Dr. Brown. Sugar, I'm chocolate. <laughs> oh my God. So, I'm there's a little back and forth, and tout. And finally, I set to set up the shit. Yeah, I'm like, course. let's meet up. But, but wait, your intentions you're like, you were wrong. Me, but I you just wanted to fuck her and leave her. For sure, guarantee. Okay, guarantee. No, guarantee. Just wanted guarantee. to make it clear. Yeah, yeah, guarantee. He's not you're being like, a good guy. Je, 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 He's no, petty. No. It's, 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 yes. it, exactly. I wanted a petty fuck. That's what yeah. I yeah. wanted. Yeah. I wanted yeah. a petty fuck. I wanted a petty fuck, right? But you know, we're going to do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to be in the same situation. Did you hit that? Oh yes, Ooh. I hit that. But hold on, though. Ça, non, mais ça, ça c'est des cours de cours de dire moi, ma victoire. Okay. Vraiment, que ma victoire. She gave him an STD. No. <laughs> Parce que... oh, wow. Wow. wow! Not true. I don't think it was her. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, shit. Keep going, I want to hear the, the, the. So, we hit, belle ambiance. Moi, je me sens bien. Tu comprends? Belle ambiance. Et j'ai toujours voulu dire cette phrase, right? And I looked at her on my way out. Et puis, rappelez-vous, comme à l'époque, on avait encore. Her house. So, this one, I'm like 21, right? You so banged her at her house. What? Mais 21, 22, puis on avait un. J'avais juste comme un prepaid, prepaid phone, genre, ok? Là, moi, je la regarde, je lui dis, ha ha ha, don't call me, I call you. Type of thing, right? Puis elle rit, elle fait, ah, elle fait, actually, don't call me at all. So les deux, on part à rire, right? 
And my laugh lasts a little longer. Her laugh is short. If, uh, no, 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 I'm for real. She goes to me, I have a boyfriend. I just wanted to start, I just wanted to try black. And since I figured you were so eager and you messaged me again on oh, Facebook, shit. I'm like, wow. why not him? You thought you were giving her a petty fuck, she gave you a petty fuck. Bro. <laughs> Wow. She's saucy de la. <laughs> He was playing <laughs> checkers. See? Si. Oh, et voilà. I got, c'est dans littéralement ça. Like, she, she put me in checkmate. Avant même que je, que je sache que je vois. Écoute, tu perds. Écoute, tu perds. I don't even know who's playing chess. I don't even know who's playing chess. So, tu sais, quand tu dis le walk of shame, cette journée-là, c'est le walk of shame. Oh, no, the drive of shame. No. You didn't beg her for a second try. I could do uh, better. No, no. No, <laughs> no. No, <laughs> no, it wasn't the walk of shame. It was the walk of learning don't ever do it again. Now, you would have done it. I would have done it. My question is, do you think you fucked her? Well, on the service on 10, the service. Pour de vrai, je pense que je peux me dire que le service était bien, mais je pense pas que c'est ça. Parce que je vais pas vous What mentir que, bien? dans le sens que. Là, c'est tranquille, toi. The What is a being service? So, first like, of all, when, when, you're, when you're 21, all you're worried about is to yeah, not come fast, right? <laughs> The first thing about basketball at that time, right? Why? Michael Jordan. Come so, <laughs> <laughs> on, so, okay, that's Fade all you're worried away. about. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that's it, right? Oh, you so know what? Let's so talk about that. En même temps, all the guys, man, it's a struggle. Focus, man. Just let's talk about it. Just let's talk about it. En même temps, c'était, c'était, c'était toute l'ambiance pour moi. C'est la première fois that I was. Banging a so-called rich girl. J'essaie de comprendre où est-ce que j'étais. J'étais comme dans un mansion, the whole situation. So, sauf que je pensais à tout ça. Puis je pensais aussi du fait que, finally, genre, après toutes ces années, puis elle m'a ghost, I'm getting... So, il y a des moments que je me suis retrouvé, là, dans ma tête, dans une position où I felt like I was hate-fucking her. Tu But those are the best sex. So, I felt like I was hate... So, I'm somebody. I knew she wanted me somehow. That's it. So, dans ma tête, that's why I'm like... She did, he, he did it for long. the black so hole. So you thought you were doing hit, a victory lap. You thought it was a victory lap. <laughs> That's it. You did so it for I, the black I, culture. I got you. I think that I like I gave it my all that day. <clears throat> But my question is, do you think if you would have fucked her better, she wouldn't give you the pink slip? No, I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. There's something I realized later. Back then, I didn't know. But with my work, I met a lot of women. Surtout les femmes qui viennent de milieux like this one, What? What you where they're they're happy with whatever the status quo is for them culturally, right? If it means find a man from the culture, obviously who's rich, who will take care of your shit. All the other women, they all have the same lifestyle that come from that kind of particular yeah, yeah. culture, right? J'ai rencontré beaucoup de femmes que pour elles c'était just I'm gonna fuck you parce que j'ai pas de marié parce que t'es pas riche. That's the guy I'm gonna marry because it's a confed yeah, yeah. so, but like I You're want fun. the dick. What's up? There's, 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 so, you're the gangster, you know the good guy. So I'm gonna beaucoup d'entre elles comprennent ça très jeune. Like they know they grew they all grow up they all see come up. They all grew up together, genre. See the family, puis tout, tout ce qu'on a telle famille. To see déjà, okay, I'm gonna date this guy, potentially I'm gonna marry him. Like they know. C'est yeah. quasiment incestueux leur truc, you know. Like they know. Is Mais, it fake? Is it fake? Some of them is real. Some of them actually fall in love with whoever they are. And But some of them, yeah, some of them, some of them to me. Is it like, let's say you're supposed, let's yeah. say, to marry for love. But you can marry, you can fall in love afterwards. With what, money? Hmm. No. So I think about my parents. Marriage my parents was, was never an organized about love. marriage. Yeah, it was always. Okay, a, but that's different. No, it's not different. It's, it's exactly the same different. thing because it was actually for survival. Right, you try mm-hmm. to combine the best things mm-hmm. culturally speaking, Together. like you said, or yeah, status, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then eventually, if you guys date for a year or two, you see that the basics, the foundations are good. But and you then, married before that, no? When it's arranged marriage? No, my parents. It's even worse. They saw each other once, and then it's they got married. My aunt, my mom, ma- my my old, my father's older sister, that found my mom, approached mm-hmm. their family, and they're like, "Listen, it would be good to unite the families." My brother is this, this, and this. Cause and my, it's like that in a lot of cultures. It mm-hmm. used to be, not anymore now. Oh, it is still. Yeah, some cultures still yeah, is. Yeah, maybe they should bring it back. Have you just seen the movie Maybe they should bring it back. But it's encore, it's encore le cas. But it's success. But the, the success rate even, is higher. You don't even have to be, you don't even have to be Hasidic. Like some no, people man, do I'm it. No, I'm just saying like, in that, in that. Yeah, yeah. Come see, come example, surtout pas si un certain age, right? So when I was, so I was married before, when I first got divorced, il y avait une femme qui venait me voir. Et elle est venue me voir dans le, dans le gym. Et the majority of my clientele is Jewish. 
Et ils savent que je suis proche de the Jewish people from, from the city. So ils sont venus me voir, la femme est venue me voir. Puis littéralement, la femme a essayé de me vendre sa fille. She's sitting next to me. But She you're goes, not even you know, Jew. So, no, mais elle, dans sa tête, c'était simple. Elle était comme, oh, but you know, you, you, might, you might convert if you want to convert. But like, parce que c'est la femme qui doit être juive, right? Ouais, je sais. Pour que les enfants, ils passent en, right? So, I'm Jew, huh? You know that? Tu m'as raconté un truc yeah, comme ça. I, we need to talk Mais about this a little bit more. Mais j'ai un bon ami à moi qui est haïtien, qui s'est converti au judaïsme, mm-hmm. il s'est marié avec une juive. So Super it. happily, you know. Non, married. mais so... sans que ce soit la religion, par euh, culture juive, la femme, par c'est... la femme, si la mère... Les enfants vont être juifs. Exactement. Oui, mais ses enfants sont Même lui, il s'est converti. C'est un haïtien. Celui-ci s'est converti, OK. Lui, lui s'est carrément converti. Il, converti. il a deux enfants. Un ou deux enfants. Je sais qu'il y a un garçon. Je sais qu'il a une jeune fille. Mais anyway, super happily married. Mm-hmm. Culturally speaking. Now, I don't know the, the belief system, how it works. But il était haïtien, chrétien. Mm-hmm. Avant. Puis il s'est converti. And everything's all... Uh, mais c'est ça, ce c'est, c'est par filiation autre que la religion. Parce que tu peux être juif par la religion, mais tu peux être ouais. juif par affiliation par sang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Donc, but to convert usually, for you to convert without marriage, Let's say, you have to have Jew blood. I'm not Jew by religion, but because <coughs> my mother, my grandmother, yeah, my yeah. great are Jew, since I'm a you girl. You can be considered Jew. Yeah, and my kids would be Jew. Yeah. Mm. Right? So but c'est I, ça, I, la mère, c'est me dire, elle me dit, moi, je n'aurais pas été obligé de me convertir, étant donné que c'est sa fille qui est juive. The kids are automatically Jewish. Exactly. So it, would, it, would, it wouldn't matter if I didn't convert, right? Mais pour le mariage, les so, autres sont quand même... Non, non, exactement. Pour le mariage, c'est différent. Yeah. Pour le mariage, oui, exactement. Yeah. It would have been in the synagogue. Et donc, ce que je veux dire, c'est que dans le fond, pour cette femme, that's how far she was thinking. Dans le sens que je n'avais pas encore rencontré sa fille. Maybe, yeah, maybe we would have hit it off, right? Sauf que, initialement, she was trying to have a contract with me, that lady, you know? Well, but like, the question you know, is, flatter, you're that not should Jew. Be flattering to you. Yeah. But you're that should black, be flattering you're to not you. Jew. The question is, how ugly was the girl? <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily. She found I'm that he was kidding. a good guy. He was a good guy, so she was willing to go through the trials of and course. tribulations. Because she would have handled their family on this. Yeah. Marriage goes like, oh, he's such a good guy. He comes from a not good family, but he's such a good guy. We're gonna hook them up. The no. fuck is that voice, Matilda voice? <laughs> I don't know. I just made it up. Leave me alone. No, I'm just saying, like, seriously. The la meteor said. Hey, t'es même pas censé être là. Tu <laughs> so much editing for nothing. No, but seriously. Anyway. It's, it's all good, but uh, I don't know would you, we're... like now I know you are in a relationship, but did you have some do's or don'ts, culturally speaking? Like for me, personally, yeah. you're saying? Because it's um, taste. That's not racist. It's just so, taste. Not exactly. In the sense that if you would have asked me, if you would have asked me that question 10 years ago, I would have had a different answer for you. But I've seen so much and learned on the... La dernière mm. décennie, si tu veux que. How long you have been married? I was married for two years. Okay. We were together for a total of five. We were married yeah. for years. Yeah. That was yeah. the last time I saw you. you yeah, I think married. so, c'est vrai. Oh, wow. You were still married. No. Yeah. Last barbecue, barbecue, barbecue you weren't t'es, married. T'es, t'es oh, yeah, that's true, but I didn't know he was divorced. But I didn't know he was divorced. C'est ça, c'est ça. Okay, good. Okay. But in the ba- the first time yeah. I met him was in the back alley of your house. It was the pod. Yeah, barbecue context, barbecue back yeah. alley, guys. No, 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 Barbecue. Yeah, that was that was no homo. that was the place, and I think you were just recently married then. The first time you're saying, yeah, or the first time, yeah, yeah. So probably yes, yeah, probably, yeah. C'est possible parce qu'on s'est marié en 2016. No, but right? I met him in 2016. Mais les barbecues, yeah, yeah. ça date de. Yeah, no, but maybe not when I met him. Though. Ça fait du sens que j'ai marié en 2016. Ok, ok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sens, that, right? Trust me, I have a good memory too when it comes to people. So, um, so maintenant, je dirais le temps. I don't necessarily have do's or don'ts culturally. Je pense que ce qui est important pour moi, c'est comment la personne qui est devant moi gère her own kind of like cultural <coughs> obligations. Do you right? have any? Uh, I don't. OK. I don't. So Parce you're not affiliated to any church, zéro. to any cultural... Moi, je, je vis ma vie as freely as I can. Et puis... The, Dr. Omar... These Umar two girls, these two young women Dr. here can attest Umar to it. Dr. Omar will be proud of j'ai, you. J'ai appris à littéralement make some sacrifices to allow me to live freely. Right? OK. So that's why I have no... Any real cultural obligations or attachments per se. So, so would right? you date a girl Sauf with a veil? So we don't ah. have to go through. <laughs> would you date a girl with a veil? Yeah, I would. I would. So what? I haven't finished. I haven't finished talking. Yeah, yeah, excuse me. What are you, Johnny Cochran Sorry. here? You're his lawyer? No, I'm not. I object, Your Honor. I object. I haven't finished talking. Let's do it, man. I haven't finished talking. I would, for as long as her beliefs, 
for as long as her cultural obligations not do imposed. not hinder yeah. my way of living. Fair. Excuse me, she important. would have parents. Ouais, mais encore une fois, c'est un problème. Si on est rendu là, moi et cette personne, c'est qu'elle sait comment gérer ses parents. Tu yeah, yeah. Vrai, your right? gifts. So they also know how to say how to raise your Because I had this conversation right. last week. I wouldn't mind at all dating a girl with a veil. Seriously? I kid you not. I Me? I would. I don't know. No, but the no, thing I is, know for sure you wouldn't mind. I wouldn't. I mind. know you for years. Now, because so. the thing is, the truth is, and regardless what religion, she can be Jewish, Buddhist, Hinduist, Christian, whatever she wants. Your religion is between you and God. Your mm -hmm. culture. I would be curious and want to know about your culture, but imposing your culture is a different story. Well, sometimes you don't need to impose your culture, but if some of the stuff, your rituals or whatever religion you're in. Yeah. Um, I would probably practice them with you just out of. Oh, so you would uh, pray five times a day? No, wait. Oh. Come, no, no, but come, come on one second. I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. My daughter did Ramadan. <laughs> wait one second. My daughter did Ramadan. I did Ramadan with her. She did? Yes. And I did it with her. Yo, shout out Shaya. <laughs> and I did it with her. Wow. Yeah, because How I wanted... How did you... Oh my God, you know what? I was thinking... Pendant le Ramadan, je m'excuse, ça m'a choqué. Oui, oui, t'as... You know, I'm a squirrel. Ma concentration d'un pigeon, mais vas-y, go. <laughs> um, did you take your pill? No. Oh. I can't feel that. Mm. Please, don't, don't the, the distract don't her. Go. Don't do Feel. that. Focus. <laughs> on, the on va la perdre. On va la perdre. Okay. okay, so, Ramadan, Ramadan. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm kidding. Non, mais sérieusement, le soleil est resté. Levé tellement tard, j'étais comme, mais pauvres les gens qui font le ramadan. 7h35 aujourd'hui. It's a regular fasting. Mais je m'excuse, là. You don't fast? Oh, of course not, I'm fat. Hello? <laughs> you should fast. <laughs> I'm... Qui est You're <laughs> such a fucking asshole. <laughs> I know you didn't mean it like that. And no, I'm no, not, I did. But I'm just saying it for life. <laughs> You're not supposed to say this shit, but I don't really care. You won't you ghost open you. the fucking door. He won't no. ghost you, that's for and sure. Yeah. I, I do not heard. like you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think fasting is healthy, but I should do something about my fatness. Definitely. So th there is, there, there are benefits to fasting, right? Um, no, but it's not healthy. Again, mm. so... For women, it's complicated. Uh, so, uh, yeah. No, but it's I, not I think, healthy. I think it comes down to how and when you're fasting. That's the part that's important. Um, too many people do things, especially nowadays, like a trend, right? Without really understanding what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because I, they put it on Facebook. It's like this age, that age, 10 hours, stop at that time, start so, at that time. It's like 16 hours. What the fuck? So, so there, there is there is definitely the health component Sorry when we're discussing swearing. fasting. And when it comes to Ramadan, for instance, that's the culture and religion, right? Which I won't discuss because... Like, I don't I have very little knowledge about it. I have too much. But, They gain more weight during Ramadan than off Ramadan. Just putting it out there. But when Me it comes pourquoi? down, when it comes yeah. to, when it comes corps, to someone. Tombe en, en, en sevrage de genre de, yeah, de but tout. They Et eat all night. But they chose, eat all night. Eat, exactement. And they eat sweets. Mais mm -hmm. le so, corps va retenir après ça parce qu'il va se dire. It's not a good, so healthy so fast. If you're, so if you're, exactly. So if you're fasting that way, mm. it's not a healthy fast, right? So if you talk about certain person, in general, most of us are secured in cycle, work on a day shift, right? Mm -hmm. Like a nine to five-ish right, for most people. But right? let's Which make things clear. You're talking about a calorie Deficit. fasting. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, where I'm getting, getting Because that, Ramadan right? is no water. That's it. Okay. So There's that, that. the other issue, so, not drinking anything and eating for 16 to 18 hours in That's a That's it. So seats in the month of Ramadan. From an anatomy and biomechanic standpoint, I would say, no, it's not healthy. Yeah. Right? It's not healthy. 100. But yes, for someone who you know, has a job normal, for example, who has a 9 to 5, and who wakes up at 5 or 6 hours in the morning, let's say, and decides to not eat anything until lunchtime, it's not a bad thing. Because your body works a lot more lentement while you're asleep. Right? Technically, it does take your body a couple of hours to regulate when you wake up. Right? So if someone doesn't eat pendant. 3, 4 hours, même 5 hours le matin, it's not the end of the world. If anything, it actually speeds up your metabolism. Yeah, right? and your focus is better. And then, if you have proper meals through your day, that's what you're doing. What's sauce. your fasting window? Not the, the optimal one that you found out? No, I'm doing 19.5. Okay. You're fasting? Yeah. Why? But me, it's, it's uh, calorie, zero calorie fasting. So I drink water, tea, and black coffee. Yeah, yeah you're that's not me. I'm not yeah. eating. No, no. Every zero day. calories. I'm not even taking because you could take, let's just say, a coffee with milk 
That's no, not fasting. Yeah. No, because coffee. your insulin levels hit. No, no, I get it. So but my why? insulin levels, mm-hmm. it makes me first, it helps me a lot focusing. My energy levels are more stable. Mm-hmm. You need more focusing? Yeah. Why? You're like focused. But that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly why. That's what he's doing. No, that's exactly why. You, you don't have like a lack of focus in your life. I've known you for a no, while. No, but my and... focus is directly correlated with mm-hmm. my energy levels. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes when I eat too early in the morning, sometimes like a Sunday, I'll take, you know, the day off mm-hmm. type of thing and I'll eat and then I'll be just tired. Of course. But of it's course, not even the right? day off so because start, you've been doing... A big meal. If you have a big meal, if, you're, if your meal is dense in Yeah, yeah it's carbs, dense. It's not a big carbs, meal. It's sugar, dense. Yeah, a lot right? of carbs. Wheat. It just so, slows me down and I get tired. That's and, the and, and that's the part that I have to work on day. on mm-hmm. my yeah. side because I still do the 16, 18 hours. But that's why I break it with greens, liquid greens. Yeah. Right? So I have a little bit of, you know, vitamins, minerals inside and I start and maybe an hour later. Because for me, I try 6, 7 p.m. I stop until noon. Pretty much the next day. So, what? and I did the 72 so hours you, one. You but why? The okay. Yeah, I do minimum 16. Minimum so why? 16. Why? Well, okay. I did 72 hours. Wow. And why? you're supposed to do it once why? a year. It's actually eye opening. 72 hours. Oh, you yes. started hallucinating. No. But it's complicated for women no, but uh, because of. I need of to know. The hormones. Well, but it's sure that the conversation is not the same when we talk to women. There's hormones. Yeah, yeah, hormones, right? mm-hmm. cycle, and everything like that. And speech. it might mess up your yeah, cycle. For sure, no. Okay, nobody's answering me. Why? 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 No, because it's good you for your body. It is known. This. It is known to shock your body to a point because what happens is you conserve a lot of fat in your body. Uh, and, I. No, no, but I'm, I'm not going to talk about women. Whoa. I'm going to talk specifically yeah, yeah. about men. No. So what happened is when you do a 72-hour, that's the maximum, the minimum of the maximum, let's just say, for a healthy. After that, it could go, some people do 92, some people do a week. And that is another ball game. Mm-hmm. But 72 hours, after the 48 hours, the benefits are clear, mm-hmm. very clear. Your body goes on survival mode your energy levels but, but it's also like, you're also you do doing that? things like you're you're having certain tea having water you're also yeah, doing, yeah. you're also doing things that also along the way detox exactly yeah yeah you're for sure and that's you're, the purpose you're, you're bringing your body to an alkaline level exactly right? but so, would you recommend that like that's um, not healthy so i would recommend i would recommend something like that Yes, once a year. Once a year. Right? For it's once a time, year. Right? For yeah, yeah. Time. There's people that actually go once every every quarter, every three months. Mais encore une fois, that's the 48 ça, hours. Ça, that's the 48 hours. That's the 48 hours. Ça, par contre, c'est, il est là le problème, it's where people don't go a little further in explaining. Right? Parce que oh, yeah, for sure. Parce qu'il y a des gens qui me disent, oh, ouais, mais telle personne a fait ci, telle personne a fait ça. Mm-hmm. First of all, body type, muscle fibers. Mm-hmm. Right, What's your sure. job? What do you do during the day? How much energy you actually need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy in versus energy out, right? So, parce que lui, il a fait quatre fois, c'est pas dire que tu peux faire quatre fois. No, no, for right? sure. If he, he's right? a so professional often, athlete, you, you know? can't do that. You're so, gonna die. <laughs> exactly. So, there's a lot of that, right? So, there are so many things to take into consideration. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Quand quelqu'un m'approche avec ce genre de choses, mm-hmm. right? C'est pas juste, oui, vas-y, c'est une bonne idée. It's like, no, let's talk a little bit more. C'est, c'est quoi tes habitudes? But you have to plan it. Right? Of course. If when I did the 72 hours, it was Monday to Wednesday. This and I had crazy. to plan it. It was the week I had the kids because I was super, you have to be super busy. You cannot stay a weekend at home no, 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 and do it. You're going to go crazy. Really? If you're busy. I you, couldn't do it. Ah, I said the busy, same thing, but yet busy, I did I it. Couldn't. It's no. all well, in your Once head. a year, I do a three-day detox where I'm only on liquids. Mm-hmm. I'm only on liquids, I'm greens. Puis oui, comme c'est l'enfer. But the first 24 is... The first way for it stuff. Yeah. After that, you no, sink in. No, but if in, you do like a smoothie ones. and you have like fruits and proteins the and last whatever, stuff, sorry, the last okay, stuff. but not like water and tea. But mm-hmm. you see, even now, we, we found out that fruits should only be consumed in the morning. You shouldn't have that at night, first and foremost. Because it's sugar? You should not combine fruit and veggies Why? together. Yeah, food combination is important also. It's, yeah. Huh? Food yeah. Com- Come see, on cherche à optimiser. Voilà. N- no one actually lives like that, okay? No, no, yes. I get it. Si on cherche à optimiser, oui. Food combination is very important. Yeah. For your digestive system, because it's not breaking down the food the same way. The way it breaks down veggies, proteins, and fruit is not so the same So why do they say, like, I mix, like, let's say I put kale, carrots, and I'll put, like, peach and whatever in my smoothie. Like. Mm-hmm. So now you're taking us into the conversation, right? C'est sûr pendant combien de temps sur le guide alimentaire canadien qui avait des conneries? <laughs> Mais il y en a encore. Il y en a encore. Le lait est encore là. The milk is still there. Okay, you know, <laughs> the milk is still there. So milk is still there. So and breakfast is the most important meal of your day. Come on. Yeah. Tu sais, on regardait de la pub, des fois, tu regardais les pubs de céréales. T'avais des Cheerios 
le lait puis un verre de jus d'orange ben oui, à mais côté. Genre, on s'entend, euh, les non. gens fumaient dans like, les avions avant. Là, comme. Right? So yeah, but it was good for stress. <laughs> but it was. The thing is what they... What, what Everybody they, was <laughs> gonna die. <laughs> no, but what they did... And kids were what the mistake they did, The mistake they did was when cigarette was created, it was a good stress reliever. They just didn't calculate the side effects. Cancer and know. death. There wasn't right? scientific facts. But yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So at the end of the day, we we live in a society where we try to find a solution. But while you find a solution, you might create a couple of other new problems. Parce que aussi, vous pouvez oublier que you also create a machine that needs to keep working, right? The cigarette yeah, yeah. industry is mm. worth multi-billions, right? Yeah, yeah. So, ils peuvent dire qu'est-ce qu'ils veulent. Là, ils mettent des petites photos sur le truc aussi. Oh, c'est juste pour comme se dire qu'on a fait notre travail. Mais on va regarder les couleurs et les punchlines dessus. Mais on va garder les produits addictifs. Mm. Puis, c'est, c'est, c'est so, la même chose pour, pour, pour la pareil. bouffe. Right. So, you have kids? Non, non. Not that you know of. Oh, God. Seriously, guys? I will answer the same way, for sure. You, you should blank. So... Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> I fixed all my problems. Oh, yeah, I did that too last year. Uh, oh, yeah? yeah? Oh, double And blank. you don't have kids. Bang, yeah, yeah. bang. Done. Wait, no, no this is a any. very interesting subject. I wanted to <laughs> bring it This is back. very interesting. Yeah, yeah, this back. is being smart. It's like, no, you're not going to get wait, me. Wait, wait, so wait, so wait, that wait. means you burn that bridge or you put it on pause? On pause. So, yes, it's, I think it's more of a pause. It's more of a pause. But you know, it's risky redoing that operation. So, I'm also not close to just adopting later on. Oh, on okay. Uh, I don't have this whole attachment of, oh, but it needs to be my blood. That's bullshit for me. Like, she probably come. It needs to look like me. See, and do whatever I want. want. So I, I can model any child of my own if I want to. <laughs> doesn't have to be my blood, right? Oh, that's so, funny. So, <laughs> definitivement, no? Mais ouais, so how did I, you get it? Were you always like this? So, okay. So, something happened to me last year. Oh, okay. So, I was uh, dating a girl. Come on, un mois, genre, à peu près. Hein. Were you in a wave pool again? Uh, no. <laughs> but I was in her wave pool. <laughs> <laughs> drip, drip, drip. <laughs> <laughs> He played Jacques Cousteau. Trois Three guys. Okay, focus. Sorry. The goggles. <laughs> the goggles. <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> okay, guys. Come on. We're adults. Focus. <laughs> Continue to But start. above all, so. we're perverts. But anyway. <laughs> no, you guys are guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We dated for a month. We had this scene bizarre. So I found out towards the end of that first month that she was taking um, depression pills, pills for depression. Oh. So qu'elle arrêtait de les prendre when we dated. Mm. Elle, prenait, elle prenait ça pendant quatre ans de temps, là, okay? like regularly. Wait, wait, wait. Did she stop like progressively? No, How we need to stop? Was she j- oh, she went ballistic. Après, après les quatre premiers jours, après les quatre premiers jours that we you spent time together. You were the joy in her life. So after four days, that we spent good time together. Yeah, he was the antidepressor. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's not how so it works, So she stopped though. taking them. In her head, she started thinking, no, obviously not, not obviously not. not. So in her head, she was like, oh, I felt good, so I thought that I didn't need to take them. I think so it was your name, Dr. Brown Sugar. She thought you were an actual doctor. Brown Sugar. Oh my God, that's funny. My shrink says that I have this weird syndrome called the superhero syndrome. Uh, the the savior. Captain Save a Hope. The savior syndrome. Captain Save a Hope. So peut-être que ça attire des gens comme ça. It's just right? me. Yeah, Captain <laughs> Save a Hope. That's yeah. a word. That's Save the a real. Hope? Yeah, that's the term. <laughs> that's the term, Captain Save a Hope. <laughs> Never heard about that. No. No. no, cultivate yourself a little bit, darling. Cultivate yourself. Yes. Hey, you need to learn about that, Captain Save a Hope. Captain yes. Save a Hope. <laughs> okay. Like if his shrink was, you know, from the streets, he would have just said those yeah. terms. Yeah, Urban Dictionary. I hear you. So. So, but moi, je savais pas. So, I'm learning all this stuff towards the end of the month parce que je voyais des mood swings qui changeaient, des trucs oh. de fou bizarres. Oh, she could have been, like, psychotic. Like, so, you can't stop So, why did you like stay, that. though? So, en fait, non. So, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? He said a month. He passé, left. It was a month, right? So, moi, quand les choses sont un peu trop pour moi, and I work, I'm like, je me lève à 5h du matin. I can't have weird shit like that. Parce que tu te réveilles à 2h, t'as envie de peinturer. Parce que tu es good. <laughs> like, qu'est-ce qui se passe, genre? Like, oh, shit like that would happen. Right? That's it. So... Done with it. Une semaine plus tard, je reçois un texte. La fille me dit, I'm pregnant. Mm-hmm. Puis tu sais, quand, quand l'univers a ton bac, quand les astres s'alignent de toutes les façons, OK, that girl's best friend m'a envoyé un DM sur Instagram. Elle me dit, I just feel very horrible about this, Emerson. Just, you know, like, the whole thing about her being pregnant is a lie. 
Elle voulait voir si ça allait revenir vers elle, elle allait quoi ta réaction, puis tout ça. She is not pregnant. This is bad. Don't do that, girl. So, First, no, wait, wait, I want to know what he did. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. I want to know Captain Save All. So, j'ai la... Oh non, mais elle, elle dans le fond, tu sais, je l'ai écrit, puis je lui ai dit, je suis là. Puis son ami, son ami avait pas peur de me dire, elle dit, tu peux lui dire que moi, je t'ai dit. Ah, right? OK, so, oh, that's so, a good friend. And I reached out. Et puis, je lui ai dit, regarde, there are definitely things that you need to fix in your life. One, I will not be the one to fix them. Two, you also need to be very careful. Maybe you're not yourself when you're in that state and when you're doing those things or saying things like that. But like... First of all, don't stop the pills like that. Just, I go, you well, that. that's not even up to me to even tell her that. Mais no, she's but it's like, she's don't do that. Que que, like, you're just lucky I'm not a psychopath. Because I know a bunch of men who would have gone fucking a while you're on your ass with that kind of shit, with a light like that. You know? Yeah, so, because it's not a joke. And you don't do like I have stuff, a kid. You know? So that was the end of the conversation. Uh, Captain. <laughs> 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 I can't. Seriously? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so, we, I shared that story with a client. Que lui, il a cinq enfants. Puis un, un de le cinquième enfant was born out of wedlock. Dans une situation que lui, he felt like he got trapped. Right? Was que, Oops. You know? Mm. So, oh, mm. oh, wait. No, I need to intervene here. Mm. Oh, he felt mm. like he got trapped. Now he flipped into put, her. You put your weenie out into another girl that the one Femme you married, I can't but you, you got trapped. He's not on trial right now, so c'est pas, pas son trial en ce moment. So, okay, so, so what happens with the kid? Whose decision is it, just out of curiosity? It doesn't matter. No, no, it doesn't. You're married. You go fuck some other girls. And then if she gets pregnant, you're the one who's like, how, how did you say that? Trapped? But it was a baby trap. Excuse me. It was unfitfulness, and it was your fucking stupidity. And now it's your consequences. Yeah, but did she know? It doesn't. Oh, that's a good question. That's Thank it. you. Right, so so, he, so she knew about him being married. Yeah, so, so oh, wait, wait, no, but the wife did she know? Oh uh, no, the wife didn't know. No, right? but the side chick did. Okay, so no, he, he didn't say his wife. She a car car baby trapped him. La raison, la raison pour laquelle il s'est dit that he felt trapped, c'est parce que elle lui a dit initialement qu'elle pouvait pas avoir d'enfant. Oh, right, trap. So this this whole thing, right? Mais bref, it's not even about his story. Il partageait l'histoire avec moi, so then he just told me, Emerson, si t'es pas sûr, si c'est plus non que oui, because you don't want to find yourself in that stressful situation again, you know, like, or potential Oh, why, you were thinking about staying so, with her? No, 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 like, oh, he's okay. in the future, he goes, like, women are, you know, he goes, tu sais, tu sais pas, là. Women are what? <laughs> Qu'est-ce qu'il voulait dire à oh, l'époque? Hey, elle est prête toujours, OK? Hey, t'es pas là. <laughs> t'es pas là. <laughs> Non, pas là. I want to know about the Chinese girl, by the so, way. So, ouais, j'ai j'ai une année particulière avant de rencontrer celle avec qui je suis en ce moment. Had <laughs> a particular year. We all do. Mais, mais, I'm still so, living it. <laughs> Alpha, il m'a dit, like, you gotta make the call parce que tu sais pas sur qui tu vas tomber encore. You're gonna find. You're gonna be. What happened to just wearing again, condoms? See? So, or coming um, in her mouth. <laughs> or in her ass like you know you have options here okay first of all yes okay, she one, can't get pregnant if you come in her ass sexuality 101 it's not because if you fuck a girl without a condom it's not because you come in her mouth that there's no like zero risk or possibility that she could be pregnant yeah even a like condom is 99.9% and whatever still, there's, okay there. so yeah, I mean every time that you go raw you know there's a chance that's it We all no, know you're, you're rolling the dice. Yeah. Right? I'm rolling, rolling no dice, dice whatsoever. <laughs> I'm rolling the dice. I burned the, the, the tubes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you so, did that way. Yeah. You I did burned. clip too. So yeah, I, I cannot reverse. I made the call. I made the call. I made the call. I made the call. I made the I made the call. That's it. And then we fast forward. Vida, no, live in the vida oh, loca. Definitely. But that also is special because when you tell, so when you go on dates and you tell young women, you know, moi, je peux pas avoir d'enfant, moi, je peux pas avoir d'enfant, je me suis fait vestomiser, so I'm not going to have any kids, whatever, right? C'est intéressant because oh, it depends. You can have... Somebody knows. You can have a situation where it's just going to put an end to the date right there mm. and then, sure. right? Parce que t'as des femmes que that's dans leur okay. vie... That's okay. Of course, wait, absolutely. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to let you finish, okay. though. I got, I got something the, the, to say. T'as des femmes que, que pour elles, c'est... It's part of their ultimate goal in life. <laughs> they, they want to be... C'est quoi ce They want to be... They want oh, to be my mother, God! Right? <laughs> you know, like, you no know, wants to be a mother. She wants to be a mother. And, like, it is what it Fair is, enough. right? But you can still so, practice with her. For sure. But you, you, you can't... <laughs> He's gonna... <laughs> Yo, okay. seriously, do you see that? No, but I'm serious, though. <laughs> that's the worst part. No, that's the worst. Well, man, the worst. Don't forget that it's not... 
à that point, it's not up to me. Je vais pas aller plus loin si la personne me regarde et me dit, mais on va pas aller nulle part, toi puis moi, parce que tu Non, on peut aller au lit. So, I say, but some of them don't even want to get saying. there if there's no kid option, right? They don't even want <laughs> no to go shame. there if there's no option of having a kid, right? No, but I propose that we practice until you find somebody. C'est quoi? I don't... That's I've, le- I've had That's to learn... literally... So, I've had to learn. I've had to learn the hard way to not try to convince a woman once she said no, Right? I had to learn the hard way to not try to convince you. Okay, you need to explain right? yourself because yeah. that sounded very no, no, no. Weird. But again, again, that's that's what I was gonna say. Nuances, Yo, nuances, what are you convincing your own? Nuances, 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 I understood exactly what nuances, he meant. Yeah, but the way it was said. So nuances communication is important. Convince, okay, and it's a key word. Convince. You just said twice over when mm-hmm. you said, "Oh, but we can go to bed." Oh, we can practice in the bed. That is trying to convince her to have sex with you. No, 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 no. She doesn't even want to get there because mm-hmm. she doesn't want to have kids. No, so mm-hmm. do you convince mm-hmm. people to come and train with you? What? Yeah, but you're talking from a business perspective. Uh, it's a business. You're so, business perspective. Ah! L- 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 it is not. <laughs> it is a business. Are you a and pleasure is guaranteed. <laughs> DM me later. <laughs> Anywho, that's not convincing. So what happens is most of the times, anyway, in my case, I've been cut. It's been 12 years, right? I've been single for nine. What happens is when I meet these people, we get along and everything. It's not probably the first thing that comes out. What? It's mm-hmm. not. What are you that talking about? That I have about? a vasectomy. Oh, second. It's probably the third. Okay. The third thing. But usually we talk, we, you know, check the temperature, see first. how things... My, my point was when you meet these people and you get along. And sometimes, especially in dating world, some people turn into friends. Mm-hmm. Right? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, what happens is you get to know each other and then you're having Ouch. a good time. And then what happens is everybody has needs. Everybody wants affection. Everybody wants mm-hmm. attention. And what happens is if you want to have kids, the long-term package is eliminated. It's off the table. You yeah. know when you go and hire like, you know, those premiums, mm-hmm. the, 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 the bronze, mm-hmm. the gold, and the platinum? Mm-hmm. The platinum just left. So what could happen is I can follow you on your journey for a couple, you know, months or whatever. And then once you feel the need to actually meet somebody and whatever, by all means, fly, pelican, fly. My point being is most people I meet want to just have a good time. And then eventually, because dating world is eventually, really hard. Eventually, hashtag so, fly, pelican, fly. So, so, now, so you're, you're, you got lucky in that sense, oh, right? Oh, I got lucky at least twice You got lucky in that sense. Because <sighs> I, met, I met a lot of young women that just they wanted ridiculous. something serious. Especially... Straight uh, off the bat. Especially, especially when... They can see some personality traits of yours, right? Come, I consider wait, wait, myself. Wait. I consider myself. I don't get what you just so said. So I consider myself a pretty solid catch. No sense que. J'entends. No, no, man. She speak. 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 Self esteem. Self esteem. I do a lot of things que selon certaines femmes, they don't get often. A certain level of attention, right? The messaging. The text, right? Opening the door for them, being there, showing this is empathy, how he right? Gets, uh, uh, showing empathy, showing emotional hoops. intelligence, right? But I told so, her in the beginning, I don't want nothing serious. So, but then you do the Casanova, voila. and then they get hooked to Thank the Casanova. But so wait, that's wait, why, wait, 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 wait! I but told wait, you. That's why. I object, that's why I said I learned. I object, I object. That's why I said I learned. I learned the hard way yeah. to not try to convince women to go further if she didn't want to have a kid. Parce que qu'est-ce qui arrive? She ends up saying yes, and then she starts seeing the Emerson that she likes, that she falls for. Mm-hmm. But then she's like torn because he doesn't want to have kids. Puis moi, je pas rester avec toi. C'est vrai, me convaincre d'avoir des enfants parce que là, tu veux rester parce que ce gars-là, il a les attributs que tu as besoin to be in a relationship. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So that's you, my, that was my point. But you're seeing it the wrong way. This is like a Drake album. Thank me later. <laughs> what happens is, what happens is, you show them how they deserve to be treated, and the next guy they're gonna meet, the bar is gonna be higher. How many people do I know after they met me? We call me Good Luck Chuck. Oh my God, this guy. And you know this for this a fact, Nadia. Hear me and you know this for a fact. Because they know exactly where the conversation is. Exactly. No, and this is a it. fact. He knows. The thing is, I meet these people and I, I'm a respectful. Wait, I was wait, well wait. raised. These One, girls? These girls. Okay. <laughs> I was well yeah. raised. I mean, I've hey. always, and the thing is, it's true. The attributes you just mentioned are things that women are looking for, but it should not be an exception, it should be the norm. Mm-hmm. Oh. A, lot of, pe- a lot of people are bad. He's gonna be like and show by show by action. You know what she reminds show me? Of? You know those commercials on YouTube when you're just watching the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's a their commercial. <laughs> Skip next. <laughs> that's what YouTube I have. Commercial. That's what I have. YouTube Premium. <laughs> that's YouTube <it>. commercial. <laughs> so I get no naughty. But my point mm. being is, whatever you're doing 
it shouldn't be exceptional. It should be the norm. And what happens is we have the opportunity because you can't give them kids to show them how to be treated well, mm -hmm. especially if you fit for them. Who's we? What do you mean we? You, you said we But have him and me, people oh. that have vasectomies, follow. Oh. Follow. Okay. So you can't give them the total package, but you can at least show them. Because regardless if you could give them kids, it doesn't guarantee it's going to work between you and her. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? So you can be all of that, mm -hmm. and then it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. And then what? How she does that work? She can forget it, take her pills. It. But I'll tell you, a lot of people would t <laughs> thank me later, would thank me later. That's why. And they're like, you know what? You made me realize what I had with you, regardless it lasted a month, six months, a year. Should have been the norm. Should be the norm. Yeah. And then I the want yeah. the kid added to that. Because the thing is now, this is why society is so fucked up right now, where people are going for financial security mm -hmm. or for you know social status mm -hmm. or for these little... Like clicks, blah, exactly. blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, they don't know how to be treated. They're like, oh, I want somebody to text me morning and afternoon. But the quality of the text, if it's not there, it's worthless. Mm -hmm. If a guy's texting you, but he's fucking the whole planet, what does mm -hmm. that change in your life? If a guy tells you, yeah, I'll spend money on you, but it has no emotional intelligence, it has zero empathy for you, he wants you to whatever, like you're, you're my trophy wife, shut the fuck up, I'm paying mm -hmm. for everything, you have nothing to say. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you treat these women right, you please them in bed, you give them the attention, regardless if you don't give them a kid, you're just that stepping stone for excellency after that. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying right after you, it's the top, but I'm just saying you're teaching them how to be treated. Now... If you ask most of women, would they rather have a six months relationship with you and treat it well and learn from that than have two, three assholes that could give her kids that ghost her, that you know, are playing on other fields and lying, manipulating, whatever? Which one do you Maybe think they would pick? Very good, yes, compelling idea. You're, I, would never, I would never put myself in a position where I'm selling it. You know what I'm trying to say? Because she, your shit is like literally, this is like marketing. Like, it's not marketing because I know what I bring. It's a marketing speech okay, you just said so, right there. Like, okay, I'll no, tell you, you why it's... You won't fool me. Okay. No, no, <laughs> you won't fool me. Wait, 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 I'm listening. I'm like, yo, this is great marketing. <laughs> like, you should start like a fucking school. We, no, but the thing we is, must teach them what... <laughs> no, like, because... If, if, do, do you have a lot of female friends? Yeah. Okay, so you would know that their complaints, especially in the dating world, mm -hmm. is always the same thing, right? So I'm not selling well, anything. Wait, what is it? Men and shit, men. The, men the, are not consistent. Men and shit, emotionally uh, unavailable, among other things. Too available. But don't forget that a lot of a lot of them also have their own. If you want, they have their own form of instability based on what you just said before, mm -hmm. right? Where some of them will claim that they want all that good stuff. Yeah. Mais est-ce que dès que le mec qui apparaît devant elle avec la Ferrari ou tout ça, qui paye tout, des fois, ça là, will trump everything else for a little while, right? Parce que ça, ça va la satisfaire pendant un certain Because they don't know how to be right? loved. Les gars vont l'amener en voyage, les gars vont des endroits où elle peut, elle peut prendre des photos, comme toutes les autres filles sur Instagram, yeah, yeah. avoir des likes. Tu comprends ce que je veux dire? Yeah, yeah. So, and I know, a lot of girls are in that situation. Puis ces mêmes filles-là se plaignent que ce gars-là, il sait ça, sait ça, sait ça, mais elles ne sortent pas de la situation. Yeah, because they don't know. Oh. They never cross the man oh. like you. That's my point here. Le problème, c'est que even if they do cross someone yeah. like me, yeah. Sometimes veux, they go for the flair. Je veux pas être dans la position où est-ce que je vais, je dois essayer de vendre le fait que she's getting something good. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get your obsession with selling. You're not selling anything. Parce que, parce que, faut comprendre, because when you do that, yeah. soon, the, the moment you do that, and then, parce que, faut, faut aussi se rappeler comment ça se passe dans la tête d'une personne when they're looking for something or someone to blame. The last thing you want is for that girl to fall for you and be like, oh, you made me do that. You made me fall for you and now we can't yeah, go yeah. anywhere. We can't have yeah. kids. We can't... Nah, 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 nah. Mm -hmm. you, made me, you made me fall for you. You made me. You made me. No, 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 no. I get that. I don't leave anything in life up to chance. I don't leave myself in a position where... No. Oh, ça, les no, no, no. But you're... Cap oh, wait, but wait one second. No, I don't but isn't, that, you. isn't paradoxical <laughs> in your case because you're technically Captain save -a right? And this is part of the saving. Yo, what the fuck? But wait, that's what wait, I don't wait. want to do. That's no, what I'm saying. I don't want that title. No, wait. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want that title. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want that title. Stop it. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's a problem. Dr. Brown. Dr. Brown. Brown sugar. Brown <laughs> sugar. Brown <laughs> sugar. <laughs> he's diabetes in a cup. So, <laughs> again, you see, he's not good for you. He's sweet, <laughs> but then he kills you when he rottens your teeth. So that's, why, that's why I like empathy. That's why you might be like, oh, I like empathy. Because at the end of the day, as an adult, 
you made all these choices and yeah. mm -hmm. you, you cry at the end because, oh, you made... No, I didn't make you do shit. No, that's what I was going to mm. say. He's saying that's that, it. but at the end of the day, les gens doivent prendre leur responsabilité. Exactly. Excuse I agree. Me. And the thing is... You're an adult. You're no, dating. I agree 100%. I'm not talking about you. Oh. Mm. No, Watch. but I'm not talking... Because the famous phrase, what do you bring to the, uh, to the table? Yeah. Right? When I approach these type of situation, I tell them I bring the whole damn house, but it's still my fucking house. Mm. And that's the issue here. I Yo, can wow, give you... Wow. I say there's two phrases I use a lot and people don't house. judge me because I know a lot of people are going to be like you told me this already so first my favorite phrase is I want to be your favorite mistake first hmm. second of all I can Yo, only he's a total brand listen to this no <laughs> yeah. it's not he's a fucking total brand you know hey, why you we, know why we, we, we're going to make t-shirts <laughs> <Yo! gonna> make... <laughs> and the second one up. is I can only promise you the moment the thing is all these people they come because I've Except met people here, don't fall in the trap <laughs> okay It's not a trap. It's a bed and breakfast with a happy ending. Anyway. <laughs> and sometimes massages. But anyway, my point is, as long as you're clear and honest about, yep. about your attention, because mm -hmm. that's the difference. Because I know a lot of people that want that serious relationship without pointing fingers at nobody here, okay? Mm -hmm. And what happens is they don't do the healing. They don't do... The, the proper work mm -hmm. to come into a relationship, friend relationship, social relationship, sexual relationship, whatever it is. That, yeah. And then what happens is it boils these insecurities or these fears or they want to clinch on and hold on and control a situation. Mm -hmm. And that is a learning moment. Mm -hmm. And that regardless if you give them a kid or not, a lot of people want that but are not ready for it. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about... No. Yes. What? Actually, we're going to talk about this whole thing you're saying. Yeah. But the other side of that. What is The it? other side being, I come in your life, I'm being very nice. I'm making you fall for you, and I'm telling you, hey, don't fall for me. But I'm doing everything in my power for you to fall. But you see, that's where you got it wrong. Treating you're saying you I'm doing well. everything. I'm not doing everything. I'm being myself. Yeah. Treating yeah. you that, well. That is the yourself. big difference. But it's yeah. true though. But that but, is the but, big but fucking difference. That, okay, so, so the thing is, you don't so want a girl to fall. That is the don't same don't reason why I say this. the massages and the breakfast and the small I'm just being and the nice. Yeah, yeah, being but, yeah, but that's who you are. That's the thing. But that's who you are. That's why I was telling you earlier. That's why I will not venture. If in front of me, c'est un non catégorique, I'm not going to venture any further because I can't stop myself from being me. And I know for a fact- You shouldn't. She's saying no right now because all she, could, all she knows is that I do not want to have a kid. But I know a week from now, after she had the Dr. Brown Sugar fucking experience, <laughs> she's going to want more. See, so that's marketing. marketing. That's marketing. branding right there. <laughs> <laughs> if I was gay, I was yeah. buying that shit right now. <laughs> Where do I subscribe? Like is this a monthly payment? Marketing. You see the ad and stuff. It's crazy. But the thing okay. is, you have to understand one thing. It feels like you have PTSD on the, uh, on this whole situation. I do. It's no, black, but, black. but that's the thing. Traumatized, bro. So I'm going to give you a psychology, a psychology really session. Black, bro. I'm going to give you a psychology <laughs> session for free here. No. The thing is, at one point, you still have to confront your fears Sin that, feel. no no but th 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 this is true because i was where you were at maybe eight years ago where i was always scared that they're going to be attached and i was pushing and i was limiting my connections and my experience and i wasn't being myself or i was second thinking everything i was doing oh i don't want her and i was keep on doing but you know we're not a relationship right you know i'm doing your massage mm -hmm. or i'm cooking for but this is not a relationship yeah, yeah. i was keep i kept on validating that mm -hmm. because i felt like she was fucking retarded and she can't understand what was mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. then i realized it was going against my nature mm -hmm. right i was going a counter flow on sure. this so i was like let me be clear and precise one time one time mm -hmm. this is this won't change I won't have kids and I have kids. So the and I'm at a certain age now where it's pretty clear. Mm -hmm. So you can't debate this. So I tell them, listen, you're fun. I get to know you. We can spend some time together. You can even friend zone me if you want. The sex is not even an obligation. It just comes naturally after mm -hmm. that, sadly. But what happens is like, the I don't mind you gets being to you, then you fall, then you get it. Come again? What? <laughs> But that's the natural thing. But at least I'm in my nature. Mm -hmm. I'm being true to myself. Yeah. They're being true to themselves. What happened is eventually they get greedy. That's it. They get greedy. And the minute they get greedy, they come and approach you. What are we? 
No, but the what are we part, I don't mind it. Or even try to change it. You sure you would never change your mind about it? Yeah, yeah, but that's it. That's a non-negotiable, blah, blah, blah. But if if it's a question, it's it's legit. It's a question. It's a legitimate question. No, but you're entitled. You can change your mind. Yeah. But you cannot impose it. Mm -mm. Because the truth is, the reality is, when you came... You're my boyfriend. You hear me? No, but if the boyfriend... Gave me a child. (laughs) Because... (laughs) because, Give me a child. Because what would happen if you would be willing to give her a child and then you can't give her a child for whatever reasons? Is she going to break up with you? Mm, but that's it exactly exactly you know right? what i mean so like, those questions still, still but that's there. not a question for you because you've done your work you're mm-hmm. being yourself you're spending a good time with the person you enjoy if you don't enjoy it by all means be gone mm-hmm. but I, I think it's parallel it's the same as when you truly understand yourself and like in my case i'm like okay good i still want kids so i need <laughs> to find someone that matches exactly what I'm looking for. But you see now, he has a girlfriend and he wants kids, right? I'm pretty much sure for whatever reason, and God forbid, something happens and that is not in the cards. It's not a deal breaker. It's just part of his priorities, Mm -hmm. right? But at the end of the day, everybody wants to feel loved. Everybody wants to feel important. Everybody wants to feel desired. And all these will out trump anything. So I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm telling you what I can provide. It could be momentarily, it could be one day, one week, one month, six months or never. Your Mm -hmm. choice. You're a grown-ass person. You can decide, I want to jump on this ride or not. But if you jump on this ride, I'm going to be myself and I'm going to give you my version. I'm Mm going to be your favorite mistake. Favorite mistake. Okay, so so you do this, you just like... It's a fool service. It's a fool service. Yeah, I stay friends with... Because I'm in good terms and I'm very transparent. So you don't stay friends with people you... Not really. Why? Like, it has to be a very particular setting. Why? Like, if I've known you for a long time and we have this solid friendship base, but just in the past eight years, seven years, girls that I slept with... They did not remain friends. Why? Because of you or because of them? No, me. I just, don't, I just don't need that. I just don't need that around me. Need what? I just don't need someone. Okay. So for me to better explain this here, I need to go back, right? Okay. Go as back as my, you want. If you want, I became more aware of my own sexuality and sexual energy towards the end of my marriage. Fair enough. And most of the girls that I had something with, it was a very powerful either moment or X amount of days, weeks, whatever it intense was. Intense or right? passionate. That's it. Most of them mostly intense and passionate, right? I don't need to have that around me, especially if I'm building something with someone or whatnot, right? For the simple reason is, if with those girls, there were zero level of friendship whatsoever, it was just that physical passion. And I consider myself a very sexual person. Like, I don't need you sitting next to me. Like, I don't need you there after I had a fight with my girl. Like... Mm. You know, like, no one needs that risk. And people can say whatever the fuck they want to say, right? About, oh, you know, being faithful, this, that. Absolutely. But we are also primitive creatures to begin with, all right? And all it takes, all it takes is that. There are women that they were just standing there and they got my dick hard. I don't need that girl next to me when I'm having beef with my girl. You understand? So, like, so I'll I don't give you the that. other side of the whole you thing. Know? I'm single. I could be with girls I fucked already and not be and say no. So why would it change if I have a girlfriend next to me now? What do you mean? So the thing is, yes, I get the animal instinct of it all. But the thing is, you have to understand. No, but you're saying if you're single and, the, and there's the girl and you don't get hard, you won't get hard if your girlfriend's exactly. next uh, to you. But nobody makes but me hard. Talking. My mind gets me hard. The thing is, nobody <laughs> has that power on me. I'm very... Oh, but I, but I you're don't an think, alien? I, I, I don't think... I don't think I don't think it's the right approach to keep saying that it's someone having power over well, you. Well, if, so, if somebody's next hey. to you and you get hard... But it's what, what about what, what? Why does it have to be? Why does it have to be a power struggle? Yeah, well, you can be but hard. Power, it could be a power between why, you why, and you. Why can it? No, be, but it could be you and you. Why can it be an energy that you have with those yeah, with the, with the person? Yeah, but is she wet? No. If, when I tell you this, I'm about people that feel the same way I feel. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Not girls that like, oh, whatever. I couldn't care less. I'm talking about young girls or women that feel the exact same way I feel. The ones I've had something with. That feel the way I feel. Yeah, and, and that you could have like visual image in your I head. I could just for a fact, there's a girl that I know for she's married, happily married that girl. We saw each other at a um at like a convention. It was for sports convention because she's also in fitness, but she's married and all that, right? With a bunch of people. With a bunch of people there. And everybody were it's at a hotel, so sweet. We ended up seeing each other. We spoke and she came with me for a snack. She went for a snack and we started walking for a bit. She sat down next to me, we started talking. She goes, well, you know we can't do that, right? And I looked at her and I know exactly what she was talking about. Because in that very moment, we both wanted to just fuck our brains out. That okay. girl has a husband at home that she's very happy with. Fair enough. 
but she, she said no. She wanted to fuck, and I wanted to fuck. But she said no. Yes, we did. So we spent the whole rest of the weekend okay. with other people and not being next to each other. But that's my point. She said, still said no. But that's because we made sure that we didn't stay together that time. No, but my point being is you still control of your needs. It's like, okay, fitness or eating healthy. It's not because there's a cheeseburger in front of me and the cheeseburger is calling me that I need to eat it. No, but there are also times and place where humans Mm -hmm. have their own moments of weakness. It's about weakness, yeah. And the last thing you want Yeah. Is to be next to something that, can be, that you can Don't capitalize sit. on in that moment of weakness. Don't yeah, set yourself a failure. No, no, but that's it. If Don't you set yourself a failure. You put but if I'm next to somebody, I already had something and I consider, if I put her in the friend zone, she's in the friend zone. She can be butt naked begging me for something. I would still say no. Yeah, that's because there was a limit on what you physically felt for that. Yeah, but, but I'm he's very, even, I'm he's very. He's talking about that. Yeah. He's talking about someone he boned with. They had like, crazy chemistry yeah. and they're not friends so it's like fuck off that's what I mean I no life. but they're not and friends exactly. I'm friends with everybody I bank okay so no <laughs> I'm telling I'm telling the context of girls that are not friends like like I past, don't have one night stands in the past seven years in the past seven years you have one, uh, one week stand everyone week in the past stand. seven years everyone that was a, <laughs> so everyone that was a new fuck in the past seven years they weren't friends before see what I'm trying to say Anyone, but they weren't friends. No, but me neither. Me fucks. neither. They weren't my but, friends. But, they, you know, but they I weren't, made them friends I before never, I fucked them. And, but I say, so no, like I never... So you don't want to get a no person? No. Nah. Like I don't, no, whenever... He, he gets to know some people, but he makes a line and, and there's a difference. There's like two buckets. There's like the fuck buckets and then there's a social, I want to get to meet... That's it. And they can't jump bucket. from one bucket to the other? Ask That's if, my question. If you, if you started with the bucket we're fucking... Like you're not jumping in the other bucket. Really? Like not because the thing I have, is, I have enough one. girlfriends in my life. I don't need more. No, don't need but more it has girlfriends. Right. Don't say that. <laughs> it doesn't girlfriends. mean that he has one girlfriend. It's only you. What the fuck? Female <laughs> friends. Female friends. You were talking about. Female friends. Wow, you went far. Wow. You went hey, you went dirty mind. <laughs> like we understood, and you were like, oh, never. You're like 50 shades heard of like purple that, right there. If I heard it like that, maybe somebody else is going to hear it. Yeah, but that's their problem. I have some, and versus have some girls that I became friends with because we knew for a fact that we didn't want to go the physical route. Like, there was one girl in particular that I'm close friends with, and at first when we met, there was a strong physical connection, right? She was with someone at the time, and I was like, yeah, there's no chance of us getting there. My life was at a different level, different page. I didn't want to get into drama, <laughs> and she didn't want anything... Didn't want to do anything risky either. We started hanging out when she got out of her relationship, right? So we're both single. We're going out a lot, right? But we both felt for each other more than fucking, but not a love relationship. Oh. We were happy that we were both able to have a girl and a guy friend that we can say everything, but that nothing else happening between the two of us, right? So then it remained that. But if I would have fucked her on day one, no way we would have remained friends. No way. Because I don't need that in my That's life. Fu- I don't need, because don't forget, no matter how old you are, no matter how intelligent, how educated, blah, 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 bullshit, everyone, oh, shit. once they're comfortable with someone, they have their own form of jealousy and they have questions. I don't need to explain to my girl that, oh, yeah, we fucked a bunch of times, but we're just friends now. Like, it's just like, <laughs> it's what it is, you know, like, you know. Like, I don't need that. I don't, I don't have the have same that. experience at no. all with you. Yeah, but don't you don't have, have a girlfriend and you haven't had one in so long, so you don't need to and deal especially, with that. And no, especially again, when a woman loves you and she wants to secure that, and then she knows that you're, you, in the no, past wait, couple of years, you met this girl that you were banging just but, recently. But, but, but wait, wait, you, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me and there's nothing else with that girl, let, but let then me, your friends Let me like, clarify something. If tomorrow I have a serious... Okay, so keep in mind, when I say I remain friends with these women... We're not BFS. We're not chilling every day. Mm. We're not like going for supper or stuff like that. We talk, we joke around. Last time I was going through my friend's Bumble account as she was dating other men and we were making fun of those guys. Mm -hmm. There's no ego. There's no resentment. There's no no jealousy, no territorialism in any way or form. Yeah, but what if you would have a girlfriend? So wait, I think okay the sex was that? boring. That's what I think. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> again, <laughs> boring. no, but that's again, what I'm saying. <laughs> it's, it's it's like enjoying a cheeseburger. At the end of the day, once it's done, it's done. After that, you want to eat something else. <sighs> it is what it is. Like I said, it's not because it was good. It wasn't. Good I don't forever. think. I don't think it applies to everyone. I think there are people oh, in enough. your life that will always have that spark. I think there are people that. You'll see again in your It's life. It's chemistry. You, exactly. That you uh, will have that chemistry. Uh, anyway, I haven't. Well, again. Okay, chemistry. I, chemistry is not something that. It's not something that just disappears. But you can have. Ke- no, right? it can disappear. Sometimes you, sure you can. can have chemistry with someone, and then along the way, 
people change, people evolve. Yeah. And then yeah, you but don't have that chemistry yeah. anymore. But sometimes it's just timeless. Mm -hmm. uh, again, mm -hmm. the only people I think it's timeless is the ones that I don't talk to anymore. Because it's the what if factor. But those who are still in my life, it's clear, net, and precise. You're put in that package, and he'll be the witness to it. Because men are good to put things in compartments, but that's Oops. only because you put things in compartments, right? Putting yeah. things in compartments doesn't mean that it's safe. It's doesn't mean that it doesn't anxiety, mean that the screws not gonna, doesn't mean it's not gonna pop up. They it might pop up again. Well, well, I decide. At the end of the day, mm. I a wise, decide. A wise man once told me, "Men plan, God laughs." <laughs> right, we plan Ooh, God laughs. What a right? lie. So, so he we can laugh all he God wants. Laughs. I'm still planning at the end of the day. <laughs> like, I'm he can laugh all he wants at the end of the day. But I, when I plan, when I decide something, I decide something. This is something I worked really hard when it came to me, not to be a slave to my emotions and my temptations. Mm -hmm. Right? Fair. Ironically is speaking, it working? for sure it is. Mm -hmm. Fair. Because the thing is, I'm a responsible sinner in that sense. Look whatever, at him. <laughs> Look at him. What, what, whatever it's lust or, you know, sexual whatever, it's still safe in that sense. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not a slave to the point that, oh, I'm just going to go and see somebody that's a psychopath, mm -hmm. knowing that it's psychopath just because I have needs. Really? I've met some very hot, beautiful women, 14 on 10 women, psychopaths. Sex was amazing, because with psychopaths, it's always fucking amazing. <laughs> But then the psychopathness... <laughs> Talk over like a true the believer. psychopathness... <laughs> ...was outweighed the pleasure. And once I put her in the box... She texts me 97 times in a row, then not answer. When it's done, it's done. It's a wrestling match. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that's what I, I mean. I remember she, her. So she could say I, I ghosted her, but I did not ghost her. I told her I am dead to you now. And she just continued. So I did my I gave my peace and it is what I it is. I am dead Fair. to you. But at the end of the day, Fair. the you sexual are dead to me. No, no, but I'm dead to you. I was like, I'm dead. Definitely not, because it kept on going. It was yeah, but like... she was talking to a ghost, right? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> but my point being is, this is some work that I had to do where, for sure, if tomorrow I have a girlfriend, I'm not going to be putting her in a situation. For sure, I'll be honest with her That's first. That's going to be hard. You don't have to be you honest. You just have to listen to the pod. No, <laughs> oh, not to that extreme. I'm not fucked at out all. Out of the internet. You know, you know what's, you know what's <laughs> funny about this? A lot of what? people listen to the pod and they're like, it's refreshing to be this transparent and honest. No, honestly, yeah. That's the thing I like about you. At least you're genuine. Yeah, because I don't have time to lie. It's so easier oh my to say the truth. Oh my goodness. It's so easier to say the truth and then get the backlash than lie or give a white lie and then get the repercussions. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, also, you tell the truth and then... Yeah. Your problem. Exactly. That's it. You wash your hands. Yes. Yeah. And I truly believe that. Yeah, of course. I, I, and to some extent, I don't think it's the right way to go, but we're all adults. So at the end of the day, you tell your truth, you wash your hands, and then it's on the other person's. No, no. The Platinum Edition is... The Blueprint. The Blueprint. The, 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 the Platinum blueprint. Edition. See, giving you my all for hopefully ever to the point that I'm going to marry you, wife you, oh, move in cute. and stuff like that. This is actually cute. But for you to have access to that, there are certain criterias that are non-negotiables. I hope so. If the girl is not sure if she wants to have kids, you're already it's eliminated. A problem. You're yeah, eliminated. It's you're eliminated. Because while you're figuring out, I don't want to be the guy that's going to push you on one side or the other. I cannot be responsible. Or you don't want to be the guy to fucking fall and hard. The, and the, no, that's and not going to happen like that. It's not going to happen like that. No, it takes two to tango. Again, I, I don't get. Love. I don't get it. Whatever thing you gonna like, even for me, I understand you 100%. No, but because when I went with Voldemort, yeah, I yeah, went I all in. But the thing is, there was rules. He's called Voldemort. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. called Voldemort. Yeah, the name you should not mention. <laughs> The name you should not mention. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's good. She yeah. cannot be named. Trust me. She cannot be named. <laughs> she cannot be named. I got, I, I, I got scars. Named. And like I said, I went all in with her. And the thing is, there's, again, I fell. I got played in a way. And it's all good. You win some, you lose some. It's okay with that. When I do things, I do them this fully. This is why. This is why, girls. Why what? What? No, but I gave it a lot. And a lot of people were like, oh, shit, I would love a guy to be like you were with her. But I'm like the criteria that she provided at me at the beginning were everything that I was looking for. And the whole kid situation was into play, right? Mm -hmm. And that was early on. That was like six years ago now. So my point is straight off the bat, if there is potential of a serious relationship between But you and I. Just, just, just uh, in parenthesis, yeah. remember that what you want mm -hmm. is often and not necessarily what you need. Mm -hmm. 
you know? Different things. Yeah, like your criteria. Okay. Like you're so, so, so I'm going to add two layers to what you just said. So I know what I want and I know what I don't want. Mm. All right. And what I need is peace. Mm. Because you have to understand mm. one thing. I'm, I can't be selfish here. I already have two older kids, 16 and 14. So the whole family being a father thing, I've done it. So if the girl is actually fancy. thinking about having kids, I'm not going to be the hypocrite here that's going to take you away that experience. Because mm -hmm. I loved it. It was the best thing that I ever did in my life. One. Two, if you don't want to have kids, right, and you want to take this as a healthy way, I already handle all my shit already. I got my businesses. I got my house. I got everything on check. If you're not adding or equal to me, I don't want you in my circle. Mm -hmm. There's no point that I'm going to drag somebody else yeah, but that's to my every level. Every relationship what do you mean by adding? Because it could be could, adding somebody that could stimulate me. It could be okay. anything as basic. Because I know, but I just want to make sure. No, that no, it's the, not the, like I don't need yeah, somebody exactly, to cook yeah, for yeah. me or clean my house or take care of my kids. Nothing, no, none of nice the above. I need somebody that's going like, to stimulate me mentally. Yeah. And it could be somebody that can, you know, push me to do better the same way that I'll push her to be better, right? Mm -hmm. But it could be as simple as, oh, I love your project. Maybe you, you know, we can do this, this, and that. Could be traveling goals. It could be anything. But as long, you know, they say love is not looking at each other's eyes. It's looking in the same direction. I'm just looking for somebody that's looking in the same direction as I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to drag somebody with all their luggage and all their traumas. I already fixed mine. I did, I did my work. Oh, you're yes. all... Uh... No, I'm not saying I'm perfect. We're, the never, big, done. we're never done. We're never, we're never done. Like, oh, I'm fixed. We're I never fixed done. my no. trauma. Oh! We oh, still think we never done the work. No, because you got you, you gotta understand those girls are not even at the beginning yeah, of the doing the work. That's what I mean. Yeah. You're on, That's it. You're, you're, I'm on you're the healthier on side. Your journey yeah, of, yeah exactly. I'm on the healthier side. I still yeah. have issues and I still have to battles every day. I get that. But they're not toxic enough to affect a couple. Mm -hmm. I feel, like you said, we are the chosen few or remaining, or I don't know what the hell's going on, Who's of we? real mm -hmm. healthy men. Who's we? Mm -hmm. Like I'm talking about him, talking about me. I'm even talking about him. As much as he's very particular on what he wants and what he needs, he verbalizes it very clearly. Mm -hmm. And his Boys. girlfriend, and his girlfriend saw it, and she's like, "This is." He literally said, "Not maybe not in those. What you see is what you get. If you don't like it, this is not IKEA. You're not going to build me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what you get." Hey, he's putting all the references. Boom, boom, boom. It's yeah. genius. But it is genius, but it is facts. And then you can grow together. And then you can grow together, right? I can be with somebody who can shine and grow. The same way me and Guy, we grew together during this pod. It started with something simple, with no worries. If we close it, we close it. It doesn't yeah, work, like it doesn't work. Time, yeah. So there is, you're in a situation where you can't lose. If you have nothing to lose, you have everything to gain, mm -hmm. right? And this is where I'm at. I'm super happy, single. So if you're going to come into my life and we're going to decide to be a serious relationship That's it. and I'm going to give you the platinum, you're going to get wow. But you, you better, better give me be, wow. Yeah, you better yeah. be ready. Like to. I, get, I better be just as happy, if not more. <laughs> exactly. That That's what I'm saying. If yeah. you're going to give me if more not, drama, why? more stress, you know? and where are you, where you've been, why did you like this one? Delete. <laughs> like delete. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is where the healthy, unhealthy. I know what I want and I know what I don't want. I'm a big believer of Second chances, not third. Second chances. And I'm a firm <laughs> believer people can change and evolve. Again, and this is the punchline he gave last time. Yeah, but it is true. <laughs> what, what, it's what, not what, a punchline. It's my truth. Like, again, it's like saying my name. Like, like I'm not going to change the story every like time you ask me. It's the, same, it's the same line because this is my truth. Okay. If you really want to know if somebody's bullshitting you or not, ask him the same question once a week. If he gives you the same answer, it's a fact at this That's point. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, if I change the answer, then you should be worried. But if I'm giving you exactly the same lines, because I did the work, and I know what. And if you don't like what I'm bringing, by all means. Fuck off. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, do, do good luck. Find whatever you find. I'm not saying that I'm made for everybody. Mm -hmm. oh, but the no. person I'm going to connect with, goddamn. That's all I got to say. Because mm -hmm. I know it's going to be intense. It's going to be probably scary as fuck. But at the end, it's going to be beautiful. And that's okay. And I can live okay with that. If I don't find it, sadly, I will have no regrets. I had a beautiful life. I have two beautiful kids. I've met so many amazing people. And this is why I keep on living and meeting people. And that's why I'm still friends with everybody because my intentions are super clear and honest. Mm -hmm. I want the best for people. I'm a, like, I love to see people thrive. Mm -hmm. if, an I, if I can help you, 
And this is something that and came when I, I was younger. If I could be one of the reason you're thriving. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Because as a younger kid, I felt like I had nobody around me. No idols, no you know motivators, nobody to support you. Because you parents were working. around because you, Yeah, but my parents were working around. a lot and I was moving from one neighbor to the other. We didn't have Facebook at that mm-hmm. time. So friends would come and go mm-hmm. and you would never see them again. So I was like, if I can be that helping hand, regardless of what it is, that call that you need to talk, invent, or somebody just to have a drink and socialize or travel with or discuss business. But can mm-hmm. you be that person for like a fucking bunch of people? Is it Not well, anymore. Well, well, well you know I'm single I mean? right <laughs> now I, when I have time and I know my no, energy but you levels. Understand? At some point, it's like... You have to learn how to say no. No, not I think even. It's, it's like you, you have to know your life shaped you but it's like you have to be reasonable so it doesn't get to something unhealthy or like yeah but that's my responsibility yeah definitely. and that's knowing yourself mm-hmm. right if like overtraining there is such a thing as overtraining of, of being overly but, healthy but, but that's when that's also when you're talking about just you managing yourself right once there's a second party in the whole situation like it changes the game a little bit right it's adaptation right? so yes it's adaptation but like like you make it sound like it's very set in stone, right? So say you pick up your phone right now and then mm-hmm. you do go on that trip with that girl that you had a good yeah. thing with, whatever. But then for some weird reason, she loses her shit during yeah. that trip. How do you it does deal happen. with that? <laughs> but you, you live and you learn. That? But you, you know? live and you learn. Now, the that thing... she just, you know, I changed for toi on the trip. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't take her pills in this case. She didn't take her pills in this case. She didn't bring it in the luggage. How many times did I know about the no, man, dans ce contexte, no, I've, had random, dans ce I've, contexte I've done random trips with people. Yeah, but you, you're fucked. You just play with fire every yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to play with fire, but I'll tell okay, you what. But I, okay, so, so no. we agree that you know no, you play with fire. If you get burned, okay, it's like, good. No, for good. sure. Okay, but good. I'm responsible in it in the sense that you're if I get... You're flying close to the sun. Yeah, Icarus. <laughs> Icarus. Where are you going? I'm so hungry. Okay, but it's Icarus in the sense that I'm responsible. If I decide to fly too close to the sun and I get burned, I'm not going to blame the sun. Yeah, fair. You, know I mean? you know what I mean fair. but the thing is when you meet people and when you meet a lot of people especially through the pod mm-hmm. you start becoming a good judge of character mm-hmm. right I agree and like you can avoid sort of, you can see people that could be triggered yeah you can start meeting them yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying unless they're a psychopath and they're really good at like playing people yeah but I haven't had like I've had situations <laughs> where I've been like we went for supper and something triggered her and like she starts crying and the whole shebang Right? At first, I was super overwhelmed by those situations. Then, if you're a calm head and whatever, you just let them vent it out. Of course. They need because to live that moment. They have exactly. To live it. They, they have to. to. Yep. You give them a good hug, and then you don't talk to them again. It's as simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> it's as you, simple as that. How do you expect that? You is- survive that situation. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go to jail. <laughs> right? Don't get back in it. Just get <laughs> Don't go back. If, if you go back in it, that's on you. That's a you problem. You know what I mean? Well, because like I said, the psychopathic, beautiful, amazing girl that 95 texts, that's what happened. When she texted me once and I was at a lunch and she texted me back, when You're I like, call you, you fuck fucking you answer. You or you get a text of a girl being like, I'm pregnant. It's yours. Yeah, but I would love that to happen. <laughs> Cause like bitch can't be mine, <laughs> but they all know I have a vasectomy. There's still one chance out of like five hundred thousand. I think. In that I did, case, in I that did case, the test. He did it twice. It's a big deal, bro. He did it. He mean? did it the chop and the. No, burn. no, 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 I burned. Oh no, 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 it's impossible. Oh shit! Okay, you went like yeah, yeah. Oh, the chop, burn, it's and done. two. There's no like oh <laughs> shit. Okay, <laughs> bang, bang. Oh wow. Okay. Shouldn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Blank. And I, I went and did the I'm test three months later, and I'm at zero. Like you, it, you, your sperm is legit transparent right now. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like if I can give you a metaphor, it's like the water slides, but nobody's sliding in it. It's just the liquid coming out. And it seems it tastes amazingly good from the last reviews. I don't know if it has to do with anything, but you know, I just had to put it out there. What you ate before? No, I don't even eat that many pineapple or anything like that. It's just so natural. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be choking. <clears throat> but honestly, honestly, the only thing I can tell you, it's, you shouldn't see it as a pitch. And you shouldn't be afraid to live a moment. That's all I got to say. Because these moments, at the end of the day, on your deathbed, I can honestly promise you, you will be reminiscing on these moments. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about sexually necessarily. The this people overall, you yeah, meet... Yeah. These moments that you're like, what if, and stuff like that. Like just going for a coffee, 
being there for somebody, somebody telling you thank you, somebody venting, whatever it is. Because I often spend a lot of time alone. A lot. And what, and what happens, pardon? A lot of time what? I spend a lot of time alone. Alone. And the thing is, I realize I'm too comfortable alone. And that scares the shit out of me. Because then I'm like, I'm afraid to forget how to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So that's why I practice. Fair. That's... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I gotta say so those moments when I'm alone and I think about my past or when I look through pictures specific moments I reminisce I'm very nostalgic as a person are you? I am very nostalgic as a person either fact is I'm nostalgic for every little aspect in my life whether it's that encounters with people mm -hmm. um, uh, good times or yeah just food you know Anime, Anything that has to do with se you know, senses. Like, exactly, exactly. Going back into remembering things that I really enjoyed, right, at a certain time, and a feeling that I like to get back. Or often, see, you know, the kind of feelings that I really that I miss is the first time feeling, of like watching a movie that's so good for the yeah. first time, watching a stand up show that's so good for the first or time, meeting yes, somebody for the first yes, time, meeting somebody for the first time, right? Going back and remembering those moments, right? So yes, of course, I do have those nostalgia moments, right? And that's my biggest flaw. Yeah. At the same time, I take it, I made it somewhat of not necessarily quality, but it is my flaw. Mm -hmm. That first time, that first feeling, that first bite, that first taste, mm -hmm. that first surprise, those moments are the things I'm running after right now. That's it. That until I finally meet that first last one. Hmm. That was beautiful. Or that last first one. Yeah. Yeah. That Even first more. last <laughs> one. <laughs> See, that was beautiful right there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, feel yeah. like, I feel like falling in love again. <laughs> <laughs> the next podcast will be your girl there. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, Let's no, talk about how we there's, there's a better chance that like the next podcast is there will be no more podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, I'm on a healthy life now. <laughs> I, I gotta need, stop this I bullshit. To, I don't need to <laughs> vent <laughs> anymore. It's complicated. It's all good. But I would wonder, how much are you willing to do or to sacrifice for the right one? Everything. Oh. Well, no. Yeah. Why? No, that's right. That's a very bad... <laughs> so, okay, I'll give you an example. You said no, everything. Wait, I'll give you an example that you'll say no right away. You meet somebody... Fuck that. My dog. <laughs> Thank you very much. Because yeah. I was like, imagine he's allergic to dogs. Bye-bye. And he's the man of your life. Oh, Henry, I'm so sorry. So, you see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, you wouldn't I do everything. I take back what it <laughs> Exactly. Said. That didn't last right long. There. That's it. So, but my question is how far? I, I do believe that... I mean, I would go, because it's a bit of a relative question, right? How far, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes if we're, like you were saying before, if we're both looking in the same direction, mm -hmm. right? And if we're both willing to put in the same kind of work, right? And I do believe it's really important to meet each other halfway in a relationship. So would you stop talking to girls for all your girlfriends? Yeah, he's to, not even well, saying friends. Wait, no, wait. no, no, but like, I'm not talking to talk, to, I'm, I will never stop talking to my current girlfriend. Somebody asked me Thank to do you. this. If somebody asked me to do that, then we're not meant to be together. I'm sorry. If that's where you draw the line as a human being, you're telling me I got to stop seeing people that are already in or my life. Or one specific one person like, because she feels that that's you're a her, That's a her problem. Threatened? Okay, so that's it. That's a her problem. And if she's not willing to understand that she can trust me, then it's not meant to be. So you see, so, 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 wait. So now you just confirmed Emerson? my point at the, the end of the day. She has to trust you. So if I have friends that I fuck, but I said it's over, she has to trust me. Of course. Of Why course. is she with you if but, she no, doesn't but different trust you? But different contexts. I don't. I'm not talking about girlfriends that are. No, regardless. That would that would be a problem. But, you but the basic is, if she's she asking has to me trust to stop you. talking to someone mm -hmm. who is literally a friend First of mine of all, in my circle. Of course, I'm gonna have a problem with that. Someone. Not to talk Absolutely, about and that's why that's that's I say it's not her problem. What the hell? 100%. No, no, I agree like, 100%. Deal with your insecurity. I'm not your property. That's it. I'm with you because I want to be with you. Then if you don't trust me, let's not be together. There's two non-negotiables when it comes to me, and this goes to business, relationships, and friendships. Respect and trust. Yeah. These are two non-negotiables. If there's a lack of respect, mm -hmm. it's out. Mm -hmm. And if you do not trust me, there is no point of continuing this. That's it. Like at the end of the day, if we're gonna thrive in any way or form, regardless mm -hmm. of my past, that's yeah. why we have respect before love. Yeah. Actually, in relationships, because love, 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 you can build love. Well, if you love, you respect. Yeah, you be no, surprised. you can. No, a lot of people surprised. love out of disrespect, <laughs> and again, because they love you. Yeah, it's a way of actually. Okay, we're talking about like. 
I mean, listen, Real uh, love, a, a, a lot of men, so a lot of men the, love the but don't friend? respect, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I love you. Promise she's the last one. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> today, <laughs> I cross my finger. <laughs> but that's my point. But respect, the minute that you respect, the rest is easy. The rest that mm -hmm. you trust, yeah, then there's right. no more I paranoia. What I say, you trust. You're not doubting. You don't have insecurities but, towards me. But that's me. like... What? That's La La Land. Why is that La La Land? Well, it's not because you haven't seen no. it. That means it doesn't exist. Oof. No, no, I have seen it. Okay, <laughs> so why is it La La Land then? Well, shots fired. Shot no, fire. because if she Yo, said it's La La Land... It. Yo, I could get my bazooka. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's not like that every time because... Yes, but no. Meaning, not everyone. Yeah, because I need to understand that. <laughs> not everyone's genuine. Not as. But that's not a healthy honest. relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes someone's gonna act like they're honest, but then they're not. And but you that's how the fuck you gonna, for how long? But that's fake. Yeah, it happens a you, lot. You can't, ha yeah, but but I'm not until talking, you know it's fake. But that's, you also, don't know. But that's also a good question, though, right? It's and especially I think now, especially at our age, we're probably also at the point where. We're getting to that level of solidity that you're at now, right? With those experiences. Because you were going back like eight years ago, for instance. Yeah, but because right? I was in a 13 years. You know but I was in a relationship for 13 years, have okay. two kids out of it. So that's it. So I've. Uh, this is my second life. Okay. So with memories of my past. My, I feel like by a certain life. point in, in life, you get to a point where you know if someone's playing a game, right? You well, you should it, know. No, but you will eventually right? find out. That's Somebody it. cannot play you for nine months. That's impossible. That's impossible. Because there's only there's only so far there's only so far you can go and not being real. Yeah, right? but that's what there's I'm saying. Only so far you can go about not, not being yeah, real. Yeah, at our age, you're right. If you could give like whatever bullshit to not invite someone over, so, but at no, Sunday, but I'll give, you're like, but I'll give you an example. Never invites me over. He probably has but, a but, wife. But, <laughs> but I'll give you. An, but I'll give you an example. That's week first month. But I'll give you an example, like in his well, case some here. Some people will take the bullshit. No, but you have to understand when you're in your early teens and early twenties, uh, you can date somebody for five, six years. At your age now, after a year, you know if it's real or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be dating That's somebody it. for five years, holding yeah. hands. You're right. The same way as him. Now he's in a serious relationship. Everything's going on. People are like, "Oh, it's so quick." No, it's not. No. When, not when everything exactly. falls not in, exactly. the thing falls yeah. in. I don't need five years. Because you have mm -hmm. experience from the previous relationship. Yeah. So you, yeah. like you had school the... then. You had to build your career. Now right. you're you know somewhat. What you, want. you know what you don't exactly. want. You could feel it. You're like, this is. This could be like. And not to take shots to any of our not... friends, but dating somebody for eight years. Nah. Somebody's getting played here. He's, That's he's all I like, gotta say. Not not to take shot at any no, of our friends. Bob, no, we talk about everybody it. Knows, but we still, talk about we it know like every time. Just did. Like, his girl, his bro. girl was behind the scenes on the last uh, one of the last pods. The last but my point being is, each their own. They have their own life. I wish them nothing but the best. I love them both amazingly. But I, it's unconceivable for me at thirty. Nine, eight, the nine, thirty-nine plus, nine. being in an eight-year relationship, nine. and they're not living together. This is for me unconceivable. Really, eh? like they're if not I'm, living if, together, they're not but living you know what? After eight, eight, eight years, no, but no. you know how I see 30s. it. It's not even. It's not because people are going to say, "Oh, it's none of your business." Everybody, yeah. but There's all if he would be dating my daughter, we're making it her business. Today. No, but I'm making it my business because I see it from a father's point of view. If that would be my daughter, It'd I would have done. an issue. Yeah, that's it. That's like. It. What the fuck are you waiting for? Like, There's wow. no kids, no house. After no two years, what the fuck? No, but like if they met younger, I understand, yeah. right? But, but then but after the, the fifth year, when everything was settled and everything, yeah, yeah, too. You're mid yeah, she's, gap. she's still in her thirties now. Yes, yeah, I yeah. know. <laughs> she's reached that gap now. <laughs> <laughs> he met her at twenty two. She's thirty now. So again, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, and they this never is, live together. Never. never. But sometimes there's a reason. No, yeah, there's always a bad reason. But still a reason. But my point being is, is some, people, the reason? some people yeah. are together for how many years and they yeah. don't live together yeah. and they're good. Like no, but that, 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 that's, that's what if, they want. That's, yeah, that's what they want. If and that's agreement. what they want by oh. all means. Some people, some people have an agreement. Okay. I know a little older yeah. than us. Yeah. Yeah. A little older than you that yeah, yeah, yeah. their boyfriend and girlfriend, But that's instance, what they want. They came from previous marriages, I'd say. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. And they don't, they don't live together. Yeah, yeah. They have their that's a mutual thing. No, no, no. But that's the thing. But that's completely different. we're not talking about that. We're talking about the girl who wants to live with the guy and then the guy says he wants to live with the girl. And just eight years go by yeah yes so he says he wants I to mean, that's and she doesn't want to no She's they worked. both want to so but why they never made the move he's always finding excuses ah, family okay, okay, this okay, okay. eight work. years exactly so that's what i mean by that you could you can live with that when you're 16 to 25 
let's just say you're going through high school, college, you university. Know, no, university that she's going to school. Yeah, eight years. Unfortunately, at this point, it's not even on him anymore. At that's on her. Plus years, that's on her. You're going to wait eight years hey. to live. No, with but that's what I'm saying. I have a friend of mine that married now after 16 years, but they were together since they were 15. Okay. So that's a different story, right? Because they were building their career, they're building their yeah. their character, yeah, their experience. Getting married is not making a relationship. They were living together before. Yeah, they started living together okay, after. Yeah, that's it. That's that's married what I'm saying. Married is like tying the knot. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. But my point being is today at our age, regardless of your background or whatever, it's not going to take you four years to know if he's the one. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like pretty much, if you see each other regularly, I'm talking about regular people, not she lives in Tumbuktu and you live here and stuff Tumbuktu? like that. I'm just saying that if you live in the same city and you have regular encounters, after a year, year and a half, I'm yeah, just buddy, saying, after you should six, six months, you're going to have an idea if yeah. she's normal. How long did it take you? Before. To actually figure it out. That that was, I'm going to have kids with her, invest with her and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but wait, you're talking. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to it wasn't long, but I still had to go do my uh, yeah, yeah, investigation, do yeah, 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 do diligence, whatever. <laughs> Close the other files. You're like, yo, what's her Yeah, yeah no, I have to meet. I had, I, I had to meet files. her parents. <laughs> Usually, it's the other way around. But for me, I'm like, I got to make sure how the parents are, just to make sure what type of. But he has trauma because he has already a baby mama. Oh. So again, he doesn't want to do. That's another thing with people that have kids that want to have other kids. They're afraid to do the same mistake. A second mm -hmm. time, and it's very understandable. But that's the same thing for everyone, whether it's a kid except or not. For, Nobody wants me. to make no. the same mistakes. I, I can't get that mistake because the thing is, if he breaks up with her and they have a kid, he's with two baby mamas no, now, with two kids. Now he becomes a rapper, and you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm black. Then, then he's gonna need to call Nick Cannon for advice. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> you know what I mean. And this is and where two pension. Yeah, that's oh, another financial shit. thing. Me on the other hand. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> shit hurts. See, this is all the reason why I don't want to have kids. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Me, but it's not, but it's not that bad. Yeah. It's Me, not I handle my kid situation with my baby moms, and we're good. So whoever comes into my life, that's why I don't date people with kids. I refuse to date people with kids. Me neither. Interesting. Me yeah. neither. See me, I was ready to date someone with kids. That's I why you date actually, so young. I actually dated. Don't do I actually it. dated a girl who was a little older than I was. <laughs> don't and do she it. She had two kids, and I was ready for the whole thing because I was don't actually happy with the fact that. She already had kids. So, so right? I'll give you a situation. Don't and, do it. And no, no, no. <laughs> I love fucking kids. Don't do I it. I have a child, and then I still don't want to date a girl with. And I'll kid. tell you why. Hmm. And this is a situation where I was very categoric. No, until I was like, "Sin, stop being hard headed. Give it a try. <laughs> you might be surprised." <laughs> so I met this Italian girl. Hey, roll the dice. Amazing girl. Amazing. We hit it off. We get along. She has two kids, a little bit younger than mine. We talk. We chill. Whatever. We decide to go to Mont Royal for a run, right? And nothing happened between me and her. It was really at the beginning. The ex-husband calls her in the car. She picks up. I don't say a word. He starts yelling at her. Oof. Fucking, you do this every time. You fucking ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. You forgot to put this in the bag, blah, 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 blah. She hangs up. She's like, I'm really sorry. And I'm like, you see, I'm Algerian. Me and him are going to fight if we're here together. Nobody's going to disrespect my wife. Mm. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you're tolerating someone disrespecting Exactly. You. But it. he's the baby dad, so what? He can do whatever. You know what I mean? Exactly. So now there's a problem that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Me and my ex get super along. I would never come and say, oh, you know, you just have to handle my situation. My situation is handled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but way. again, that but takes wait. time. And but it's not something like that. But wait. And that person could get to that. Wait. Oh, so. And I'll give you another situation mm -hmm. where a friend of mine was the, dating. With a 16. Yeah. Go ahead. My friend <laughs> had two kids. He was dating this other lady that had two kids. Her kids were a little bit older. A 16-year-old daughter and a 12-year-old son. So they have supper all together. She, the girl, the daughter came with her boyfriend. 16 now. Mm -hmm. My daughter's 16. That's a joke. But anyway, <laughs> so they're sitting, whatever, having supper at her, the, the, the girlfriend's house. And while supper was going on, the girlfriend gets up with the boyfriend. They're like, oh, we're going to go and take our shower. What? Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, wow. Wait. It's not over. It's not over. This is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> so what happened is he gets oh, up and he's like, yo, he's like, I didn't raise my kids like this. So I would expect you, ta, ta, ta. And she's like, hey. I want to be respected. I don't want to hear you bang my mom every weekend neither. It's like, I'm going to go and take my shower with my kids. So now... You're my boyfriend. Wait, 
Yeah. With you the boyfriend. With yeah, yeah. Oh, with the boyfriend. I was gonna say, I don't want, I don't want to hear you bang my mom. The, so girl, the, 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 the daughter, that. the daughter said the, that to the stepfather. Just the, the fact that she said, you know, like just that alone. God's like, life. <laughs> yeah, they, that's a conversation to have before we get there. Like, yeah. so how do you raise your kids? No, so but that's what I'm saying. They can tell you, know, you they, they have the best. Have that no, every parent, yeah, yeah. And every parent they tells believe you they have the best kids they, until they, they, they don't have the best kids. No, no, they believe actually they have. I, a, I work, you know, yo, like, I work in daycares, so I see parents. Their kids are savages. But when you listen to them, oh, there's <laughs> oh, this and there's that. So good. Yeah, yeah, they're amazing. Look and this, and like, no, he's a fucking idiot. It's like your daughter just really ugly. Her boy, and she's gonna get off the table to go take a shower <laughs> with, with the boy. What the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> like, so you yeah. see, and by the so way, if I if I date a girl like, with hey. kids, that means I have to play along. I have to play nice with the baby mm -hmm. dads, and the however kid. she raised her kids prior to mine. Yeah, but that's for everyone. No, if I date somebody that doesn't have kids, Obviously. I eliminate all those problems mm. one shot. But it also but you're uh, get because other problems the, an issue problems. an issue like this can create. I mean, if I were to say no to a situation like this, for my part, is where it creates a little bit this weird kind of like conflict of interest in a way, where in a sense of like you can't have you can't have your kids seeing that behavior either. Because you're not raising your kids like that, right? Exactly. Exactly. So I can't have my daughter exactly. being like, oh, so she's allowed to have a boyfriend and shower with him and shit? Like 16. Yeah, I like, can do that too. Like, yeah, no, you can't. Like, well, on top of that, let's say that when someone has a kid, you never come first. For me, that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. It's like. And if I did, that's a turnoff. I'll Thank tell you. you. Girl, exactly. And, it's and like, that's, it and that's be the normal. number one reason why. That's one of my did. biggest pet peeves where the so sense that the it turns me off. That's the number one reason. I didn't come first and I want to come first. And if I don't come first, it means. No, that you, I'm, okay. I'm okay being second. No, no. Honestly, because for me, if I don't. Especially just kids in the game. Of course, it makes sense. The kids, I don't mind. If it's your career, I have a problem with that. I was already at a barbecue at a friend's. She was just a friend. Of course. We're, we're, no, 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 nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, we're a couple of friends. You. I believe you. <laughs> a couple what of friends. You know, we were a group of people. And her teenage daughter walks <laughs> out. She said, yeah, I'm just and she a starts friend. talking, yelling, fuck this, fuck that. She was mad at her mom. And the daughter was probably 17 tops. The slap that you're gonna have. And yo, I look at that. I'm, he's talking, I'm thinking, what? Yo, <laughs> and bro. you know what? I wasn't even interested in the girl, and that turned me off even more. Because I was like, yuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, what, your kids? daughter was acting like that? Yeah. Like her daughter was acting, because that means you let her act that way. Mm -hmm. oh. She's 17 years old. Mm -hmm. That's not the first time she talks to you that way. Exactly. She didn't, didn't wake up all today. of a sudden and be disrespectful. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, sometimes. No, no. 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 Sometimes no. it's like a problem de comportement. Like, yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And? Yeah. And? And? So do what? my kids yeah, have? Kids If I can handle my kids in a way for them not to be, that means everybody could do it. I'm not special. Mm. I'm not special but I do I do believe I don't agree so but there is okay so there, there are there are things that we can control in terms of some kids experience different level of mental illness right yeah. so then it could be it could be it could be yeah. illness, so it could be behavior issues no whatever. matter no matter how strict your parents are <laughs> like if you snap you snap right but yes there are the kids who let's say quote unquote more stable if you were conditioned to respect your parents And not do these yeah. things, you're not gonna do it, right? Yeah, but like, I'm sure us three here when we were kids were probably like troublemakers. I was a big time trouble, but I never spoke back to my grandmother. You're She raised never, us and I never spoke back to my mom. Never. I mean, like, I'm 45 years old to I mean? this day. If I watch a movie with my parents like, and people are kissing on TV, I look on the floor. <laughs> I'm 40 fucking five. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? My kids do the same thing. I never ask them for shit. They do the same Just thing. Naturally you're like, exactly. <laughs> If you're raised you're well, you're raised well. <laughs> Being yeah, raised well like, is non negotiable. I'm going to go pee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I have over. to go do homework. Oh, the scene's oh, over. This is funny. <laughs> but that's what it's I'm saying. True. But it is true. But that's because but, we were raised but that way. I have way. to say, at some point in my life when I was an adolescent, I used to talk back to my mom and be like, it, it was like I wasn't raised. But it wasn't that I wasn't raised. Because I was, my mom was like army shit. Okay. It's just that I was like, at some point, I was like, fuck that. I would do whatever. Yeah, and you're even going her, through she was, you I going was out of things. control. Yeah. And then she put me in a fucking center because of that. But it's not because she didn't raise me or she didn't put boundaries or I, she, I'm I not didn't blaming, have I'm not blaming the parents here about everything. Don't well, get me wrong. you just did. You're Wait. like, the daughter's like that. You're letting her be like that. But no, no. sometimes when no. they're Wait. really fucked up. If she <laughs> talks, if she talks to you in front of people, in front of your guests that way. I don't care what kind of situation yeah, exactly. you got. Yeah, you're right. It's Yo, if, if you know your daughter has exactly. issues, don't don't bring people over. That's it. Or, I'm like, you know, I'm like, it. yeah, like keep her in a cage. No, that's not what I'm saying. Don't invite people. Don't do house parties. Don't do when thing you have rude. Place. 
uncontrollable kids. That's all I got to say. Because yes, there is situations where... Or maybe give a heads up. What are you going to give a heads up? Oh, my daughter could, you know, come and insult us? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, she's yeah, sometimes yeah. fucked up. I'm not going to come. If you tell me that, I'm not showing up. Handle your shit. You yeah. need to spend time with your kids. You need Jesus in your life. And again, this is not being disrespectful <laughs> to anybody. I love how he says that. Like, you don't know the, the life of the person, what happened. Why is a kid like that? I had, moments, I had moments where uh, I never had difficulties with my kids. Don't get me wrong. But there was periods where she was stressed at school and stuff like that. And I had events. Yeah, I canceled the events. you have really good kids. Yeah, but I canceled the event and I spent time with them. Yeah. I'm not there to trigger them even more. Mm -hmm. I have to know my kids. I have to be self-aware mm -hmm. of what's going on. If my kids are in a bad situation, regardless of what situation it is. And my kid's been through a lot. Their mom had cancer. She has a boyfriend now that lives with them. So they've been through the ups and downs, the separation and shit like that. If you're not present for them, they will be ups and downs. Nobody's mm -hmm. perfect. But if you're going through a bad phase, don't chill with people. Handle your kids. Handle mm -hmm. your business. You have to have your priorities straight. But if your daughters feel comfortable at 17 years old to come and walk out at the past your door and start using the F word in front of adults... Somewhere along the way, somebody's getting a beating. Oh. You know what I mean? And my kids told me this. I never raised I, I a hand on my kids. Something and my wrong. daughter told me once, she was like, sometimes I would prefer if you would hit me than the way you look at me when you're mad at me. Mm. And that's that. And that's African parenting. Mm -hmm. Like it's mental mm -hmm. warfare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's like they just turn around, they look at you like that, yeah. and they're like, "Oh." Fuck. When I tell oh, my yeah, son, "Are you weapon. sure?" When yeah. I tell my son, "Are you weapon. sure?" You play. Or is this your final answer? He's like, "Oh." Fuck. He's like, "Oh, <laughs> hell's the fuck no!" <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "No, my bad. It's simple as that." And I always raise them like that. They always said that I was the most strict, Pure but pressure. I'm the most fun too. They have all like parenting is pretty much like dating. You have to be listening to the person in front of you. You have to adapt. And want the best out of them. Relationship regardless. is relationship, whatever relationship it is. Yeah, but these I are your kids. You, you have a prior. You have, you have a, a relationship with your kids. You yeah, have but a you, relationship you, with but you, your mother, you're in a position you a of authority here. Don't forget, you are their father, so you decide. Oh, so it's like dating. So when you're dating, you're in position of authority. No, that's the thing. Oh. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> Why you go there? Like, no, wow. but I mean, I'm listening. That's what he's not what he said. No, not what I he said, said respect and understanding and listening. I didn't oh, say that. that but I'm like, part. the kids, they cannot go and push it too far like dating because I have a position okay, of authority. You said it's like mm -hmm. dating. So I'm like, wait a minute. No, but mm -hmm. when talking, communicating and Because dating, the, the person can leave, actually. It's like those the people other that one, are, your they're beefing with their girlfriends and they go out and party with friends. Mm -hmm. Yo, go stay home and handle your shit. Yeah, yeah thank yeah. you. You know what I mean? That's yeah, what I meant yeah, by that. Yeah. Communication and reading the room, you have mm -hmm. to understand your priorities. Unless she's okay. crazy. And you But if she's crazy, you shouldn't be there at all. Right? People are chicken. Yeah, I like chicken. <laughs> Like and this was sponsored by KFC. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> this was fun. Thank this you. A lot of fun Thank you for real. showing up. This was interesting. Thank I feel guys. depressed at the same time. <laughs> 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 well, we're going back to the drawing board of our lives. Yeah, that. seriously. <laughs> I think we should regroup like in a couple of months. <laughs> I, I and see what we figured one. out. I, I got a 45 minute drive to think about all my shit now. I'm like, shit. I'm I have 12 think. minutes, but I'm like, shit. I, I really. Have 11 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, your neck, oh, you're close by. Uh, okay, love okay, nice. now. But I'm just wondering. Okay, I'm gonna say it 30. <laughs> you're not driving. Relax. Oh, yeah, you're right. 25. <laughs> But I'll leave you on this, though. And I'll leave this question open for hopefully a next pod. I would really love to know, and we're gonna have this conversation too, if you guys have regrets and how you confront them now. Hmm. Of course, we have regrets. Who okay, doesn't? We, well, I, it's for next time. It's for next for time. Next okay, time. Yeah, definitely for next time. But like, no, we'll hold that thought. I got excited. <laughs> <Next> time, <bro. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll hold that thought. And, And on that note. <laughs>